Come on, baby, let's do the grift. Oh, come on, baby, let's do the grift. Take me by my little hand and grift like this. Grift, baby, grift, baby, grift, baby. Did the show just get struck for copyright? God fucking damn it. God fucking damn it. Hold on. What? Hold on. How is that? Who owns that? Uh, hold on. Are we back yet? Live thing. Yeah, I know. It's, oh my God. How do I get to the fucking live room? It's supposed to come back. Your stream has been temporarily blocked. Okay, wait. Are we back up now, I think? Takes a second to come back. Oh my god. How long is it gonna to take to fix this? More info. Temporarily blocked. Okay, but it shouldn't be blocked now. Usually this comes back after like two seconds. We're not even streaming anything. Why is it not coming back? Okay, now it sounds like it's working again. Okay. That was stupid. Uh, I'm going to play the song again. Here we go. Come on, baby. Let's do the grift. Oh, come on, baby. Let's do the grift. Take me by my little hand and grift like this. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from around the globe, grift, it's time baby, for the grift, famous baby, Tuesday baby, Night Grift. Baby, 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 Vito Giswaldi, coming at you live from you know, beautiful Los Angeles, California. It's the show you love to love, the love you love to hate. It's the Tuesday Night Grift. Yes. Hello, America, and welcome to the Tuesday Night Grift. I'm your host, Vito Duvaldi. Very excited to welcome you here on a beautiful Tuesday, February 27th. We had a very exciting show for you tonight. A lot of great guests and a lot of fun will be had. A lot of topics on the docket. Actually, we only have one topic on the docket. Might have two topics on the docket. I don't know, but let's meet our contenders. Contenders, what is this, American Gladiators? Oh, also, yeah, so I opened this stream by playing copyrighted X-Men material, and I guess I get hit for that. Uh, Vito shouting over Vito is unnerving. Another problem is that the music, uh, for some reason, the music cues I hear are not the same music cues the audience hears. They're, like, delayed. So I don't know when I'm supposed to start yelling or not. Uh, anyway. All right, we're here. We're live. We're here with John Breaks Bad News is here. Hey! Long time no talk. It's been a long time. It's been a while. It's been a long time, and I just somehow hit us both. There we go. I want to change the background. How you been, man? How goes the bad news breaking game? I've, uh, I'm working my way back into, uh, into active mode. So I've been editing a lot of old video and, uh, slowly posting some clips and hopefully we'll be streaming sometime this week. 
What platforms are you banned from right now? Only Twitter. Oh, so you got the you got the TikTok? Yeah. Are you doing the Instagram? Instagram. Uh Asimi says hi, by the way. So hello. Um he uh but yeah, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. Uh I think I have a rumble, but I don't stream Hold on, on it. John but... breaks bad. Where do you get your most views? TikTok. Easily. I have six hundred thousand followers there. Still. Jesus Christ. Hold on, I was gonna bring it up, but it won't even let me show it. Share this tab instead. Uh, John breaks bad news on TikTok. You can find it. Something went wrong. I can hit refresh. And uh, oh, there you go. Yeah, this is a good format that you got. Anyway, I'll stop uh, sucking you off, but I, I will tell people go uh, to John breaks bad news. I'm trying to do more shorts. You just edit it on your like regular video editor, right? I have a uh, Sony Vegas that I use. Yeah. Because now there's these AI things that can edit stuff, but it's like kind of its own pain in the ass. So yeah, I don't it, know what I'm supposed to do there. I've tried using those things. They, I don't like them. I, it's I'd not, rather it's just, not as helpful as it could be. Yeah. Number one, it doesn't realize that it's like a prank phone call show. So it just like starts picking up in the middle of shit and like do, it doesn't do it right. Yeah. Pain in the ass. Top Load Gaming is here. What's up? How's it going, brother? Totally ready to grip tonight. A lot of X Men news, and you are uh, oh, yeah. helping us break this story wide open. Yes, a sir. Lot of, a lot of misinformation out there, and we're going to take a look at that tonight. And Tony, uh, the Geek Getaway is here. What's up, Vito? I don't know what you're going to tell people, but I'm going to tell everyone that it was the anti comic skate people that flagged your stream, got it taken down. My, I think that's right. I think that makes that's correct. Uh, wait, what does TGD stand for? Uh, thank God daily. Oh, okay. Well, now I know. I am. No one gets guys. Are you furious about? I guess we should watch the trailer first. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna take a look. So X Men is getting a reboot. Uh, it's weird. I'm talking to people. I feel like this X Men nostalgia. Like, let's put it this way. I liked the cartoon in in a. Uh, like if it was on and I was like a kid, you know, I'd be, I'd watch it, sure. But I've never met anybody who like really loves like the X Men cartoon. Am I crazy? I mean, I'm sure there are people, but look at top loaded shaking. I'm, He's like, Vito. I'm one of them. Okay, I, I love. But it. I'm saying like the number of people for who like like X Men was the best cartoon. It's not like it was Spider Man and then X Men for me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, yeah. Well, well Spider-Man was kind of I, better than X-Men, huh? I well, I'm X-Men Spider-Man, but that's just But I think they're they're interchangeable. Like We're not going to count Batman. It was, it was Batman. Nah, no, Bat Batman for sure, but for me X-Men's at the top. For me it's uh Fantastic 4, but only because I love this classic rap music. You guys remember this? Uh 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 this is real, by the way. The Human Torch wrapped in an episode. But see, I I, I feel like no X Men, no Spider Man, no Care Fantastic Four, no Iron Man. Careful. See, it's actually pretty kicking. It's not always cool to be cool. I'll say this: I love the uh, designs of the X Men '97. Uh, God, there was actually was it Kodo Bukia? Uh, there's actually some cool X-Men figures at one point that I was like, shit, I kind of do want to get those. I don't know where the hell they are. Uh, but this is, okay, so the X-Men 97, I guess, did, did the X-Men 97 cartoon end on a cliffhanger? Um, it, it sort of ended where, you know, um, Charles uh, was taken by uh, Lalandra, if I'm not mistaken, uh, to try and heal him. You know, so that they no longer had Charles anymore. And, you know, it was like, uh, was it graduation day? I think that's how it ended or, or something like that. So now um, was somebody else taking over the school. So I, I think I, I'm not sure that they exactly. I haven't watched the last episode in a while, but it sort of ended like they were kind of saying goodbye to Charles and opening a new door, you know, without him. Yeah, I will say I do really like the X Men '97 uh, character designs. I do think that was like the height of like Marvel design. And also, I just found this. Why do I not own this? This is fucking awesome. What the fuck? I want this. 
Rogue they're making with anime they're making rogue some with really bone claws. cool shit. I'm like, looks a little, little young. A little young looking, you know. Yeah, that's a lolly right there. Look at the size <laughs> of her fucking ass. She's got those I... big books. You know, those big books. Can Rogue get Stop claws? sexualizing she that can't... young baby. I mean, I know she can get other people's powers, right? But could she get bone claws? Has she ever gotten bone claws? Yeah, before? because that's uh, that's part of Wolverine's powers. It's not part of his powers. Yes, it is. The bone claws. That's like, it's like if you touch Wolverine, she's not going to grow a dick. He's got yeah, right. Yeah, that's <laughs> he, 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 <laughs> he, he, Does that yeah. make sense at all? I don't. That's not his superpower. It's like yes, it is. It's an anatomy. Well, he's, yeah, he he, he's a, it's a super. It's a, what do you mean? It's not. I mean, super, you have the adamantium claws? stuff is not part of his powers, but the right. bone claws are. Yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. I mean, once okay. they okay. introduce well, that as a thing. So she touches Nightcrawler. Does she get a tail? If she touches a bear, does she get bear claws? Like, what are you guys talking about? Well, I mean, when she, she touches anatomy. Archangel in the series, she turns blue. M, M says uh, it is part of his powers. How is that a power? It's not. It, it's part of his mutation. All right. Either way, somebody please send Bone Claw Rogue to the toy box for me because I want it. Uh, all right. Let's take a look at this trailer and we're going to see how angry we are about the fact that the X-Men cartoon is coming back. We're going to figure out why we're angry about it. We're supposed to be angry about this. Let's figure out why. Watch the series finale of X-Men next Saturday morning. Oh, it tells me it's going to be confusing. I'm grateful to have the chance. So it ended with uh, him in, on his deathbed, and he dies. No, I think, This was the uh, last the episode. Comes she saves him. Uh, the yeah, Lalandra takes him away to save him with their technology. Oh. Well, the then this is a lie. I am of you all, my X-Men. Fate lies in our hands now. Now Ooh, that's the lady talking, you know. Okay, they don't even show the lady who's talking. So who, Moira is in charge of the X-Men now. No, nobody. They, they, nobody. Uh, I guess uh, okay. Magneto is going to be in charge. All right, so we're picking up yeah, where I it left it... off. Oh yeah, it does kind of look like Magneto is going to be in charge, huh? Yeah. Right. Now. He went to space with Tucci. Oh my god! Start crying, Vito. <laughs> so incredible. We have to stay vigilant. The professor entrusted us with his dream. You see, they show a casket no there. How dark. Hold on, I wanted to say people are upset about uh, this because uh, I don't know. Maybe they're not upset about this. Isn't this woke? This is woke, right? I, I think that one lady is confused. She's at the at the wrong protest. She's got back to where you came from. She's supposed to be at the border. She's too protest favorite. <laughs> yeah. What is back to where you came from? From what do you think mutants came from? <laughs> Go back to Krakoa. That's not a thing. No matter how dark it is, we must believe in each other. <laughs> We get this done by working together as a team. Jeez, Bob, keep buzzing in my ear. Did they get the same Ooh. voice actors back, or are all the voice actors dead? A lot of them are. I don't. I don't. Uh, think that's Wolverine. I believe I, it is. I, I believe um, uh, the guy that played Charles Xavier. He's he's uh, yeah. passed away. Um, someone else, maybe the guy that played Magneto. I, I'm I'm unsure, but the guy that plays Wolverine, he's back. It's just been like what. How many years? So I'm gonna say throat of throat cancer. Who died of throat <laughs> cancer? I think I think he was like 90 in the 90s. So <laughs> you know he does not sound like Wolverine. He sounds like <laughs> a corpse. <laughs> I'm trying to remember his name's Cal Dobb or something like that. So here's what I'm gonna say. I'm always weirded out by this fake 2D animation. So this is a 3D model, obviously, right? Oh, 3D uh, assets. Yeah. This is a 3D. Yeah, these are 3D assets. You can see like here where the shin, like there's this like bump here, and you're like, yeah, because that's like the 3D model. And also just the where the hair the hair looks like it's floating over the rest of him. Yeah. Uh, like shit. Yeah. It's like so, man, some of the parts of the trailer almost look like um a motion comic. Like, I don't know what's up with the frame rate, but it, yeah. it seems like choppy in some places. Dude, this part where it pulled away looked really cheap. Uh, I was like, why does that not even look? This looks like uh, the, we must believe right here. This part where they're pulling away, yeah, you're right. It's like the frame rate's choppy. 
They're not moving smoothly. Yeah, especially when they do the casket in this right here. We get that looks like Metalocalypse. Like Dude, that close-up on the claws is so obviously like a 3D model. It's fine. And then like, yeah, because like, okay, here's another thing. And I don't know why they haven't figured out how to deal with this. So like if you were drawing brush strokes, the br a brush stroke normally with a brush ends in like a sharp tapered line. But these have like these rounded edges that you only see when you're drawing with a uh, computer brush. And I don't know why they haven't just figured out how to taper the lines off. It would look honestly infinitely better. Yeah. Uh, they have actually, Vito. Um, you got to buy special brushes, uh, digital brushes for that. Yeah. Well, the Japanese have figured it out. But look at it. See how his beard, that's just like this uh, one thick line for his little beard hairs. Yeah. yeah well, I'm saying, I'm pretty it. sure some of the comic skate guys, because uh, Jimmy Reyes sells his own brushes, digital brushes. And I think he has them. I mean, I use digital brushes for stuff. And uh, yeah, you taper. But then again, uh, you, at least even if you're using a digital canvas, at least it knows to taper the stroke. But clearly, these guys are using some like fucking vector animation. I don't know, vectors, but the lines. Of course, it's cheap. Disney. They're cheap. Those child labor that yeah. they caught in the park, they don't know what they're doing. If you ever want to know when you look at something, you know that it's a computer piece of artwork. It'll usually be because the lines don't taper off. Like a brush stroke, you know, as you take it off the paper, the stroke gets thinner and thinner. You know, uh, it doesn't just stay about one. Those strokes. Uh, it's I know a lot about strokes because this is what I tell people. Always send me their art. They're like, "What do you think of my art?" I go, "You made this on a computer," and I can tell because the the brush strokes look terrible. Just find a tapered brush. We we'll get look. this done by working together. We actually team. look more hands drawn. Keep buzzing in my ear. And and also, you know, when you have uh, a 3D model like this, normally when you draw something, like your lines aren't the perfect, uh, they aren't the perfect width the entire way across, right? Because the pressure depends on how much pressure you're applying to the stroke. But then you get these really artificial lines where the line is the exact same width all the way around. And it just has this level of artifice. And I don't know why they haven't just figured out how to tell the computer, like, hey, just vary the width of the stroke. You know, make it lighter at the edge, then thicker here, then lighter here. Probably uh, because it's a children's cartoon and no one's going to be looking that close. <laughs> but it's not a children's cartoon. This is for grown-ass weirdos like me and uh, top-loaded gaming. Yeah, that, that, this is the cartoon that, that gave us the adult before we were adults. You know, that they gave yeah. us... Uh, Real emotion from this. We learned about the death of Morph. Who then, and then we learned people can come back to life. Uh, Diamond G says, "R.I.P. Rogues, uh, Roganomic curves." I agree. Uh, Sammy James says, "Even though it's ultimately Disney's fault, they still want to blame Eric July just seems spurg out over it." I agree with that one hundred percent. You can blame uh, Eric July for anything. He freaks out. Uh, hey, Sammy John James for two. Please give John two cents from this. I will not. And Diamond G says, Yaira, Yaira late because she caught nut, you know? We, got, we should talk about Yaira later. It's it's like, it's going to be... Is it actually late? I don't know. The way, he's, the way he's priming it up, it sounds like he's going to... um, What do you call it? He might do it right at the deadline just to own the haters. Someone said it was going to be next winner. That Eric said it was next winner, not this winner. He's when, been when saying that it's winter this end? year. When does winter end? Uh, March 19th. So he has till the 19th to officially make Yaira winter a thing. I wonder uh, if uh, if he's like panicking and had them all actually draw the comic this time. <laughs> well, we'll see. And that's I was finish taking this. so long. We'll finish this in. Sorry to nerd out about animation, but I just this this fake 2D animation always looks it's that what's one of the fucking problems on biggest problem fake 2D animation because I think it looks like crap. Heads up. Hold on, so we do have to look real quick. This is the most replayed part because everybody's looking at Rogue, right? All right, there's, there's the butt. Just pay attention. Think about this. <laughs> That's what we got. Is this what about. everybody's <laughs> fucking freaking out about? We're gonna talk about it, John. I we'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> People take contention with this part too. To me, my X Men. My X Men. Why does it sound like shit too? Yeah. 
It sounds still. It has like, like a compressed fucking. And like the voice acting is very stiff. Like that. Like. That isn't, that isn't that nineties uh, style though? Come to me, my X Men. I mean, maybe, maybe I'm, maybe I'm misremembering because I haven't watched that show since I was a kid. But I remember it being like a fucking work of art and like. Yeah, the, cool. I was watching it today, man. The audio is still pretty solid. I just remember playing the arcade game and uh, Welcome to die. Well, I'm thinking of a uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Optic Blast. Oh. Optic Blast. I'm like, <laughs> I like that they yelled the name of Optic Blast. Oh, what did Wolverine uh, yell over and over again? Tornado Claw. Or something Tornado like that. Claw. <laughs> this, like dog shit. this is terrible. That looks horrible. What that is that? Like shadowing. Those really cheap, like Adult Swim late night animations. That that's like what what was that Adult Swim cartoon with the it was it Frisky Dingo frisky, maybe yeah, frisky yeah. Dingo. It looked exactly like Frisky yeah dingo. dude agreed um why again the problem you have is in a oh. normal piece of artwork your tapers like it'll taper off and it has this like see they actually got it here a little bit see how this width of this line yeah. Like but tapers. everything is just so dark. The like the outline. Well, the, the lines are way too thick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then his hair. This look like right here. You see this giant blob because like the stroke is not. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how to explain it, but this is the reason why digital artwork can sometimes look like dog shit is because they didn't take the time to taper the strokes. And then look, his hair ends in like a giant blob because the stroke is not set up to actually just be now, sharp. Is is it at all possible that this is like the trailer and it's not the, a finished product? I guess, but they're going to, it's going to be one of those things where they drop all the episodes at once. So I'd say the odds of that are no, like this stuff must all be pretty much close to finished because they don't care. That's the thing. Like no, nobody, nobody making this gives a shit because they know most people are just like, don't know what a good cartoon looks like or don't care. Yeah. Uh, it's or a lot children. like I some, where it's like, well, these people don't read comic books, uh, you know, and they they were kids in the 90s, so they just will settle for trash. Uh, look, it might be good, uh, like a fun show, but like just I don't know why if you're Disney and you have all this money, you can't just find a bunch of Koreans to animate it like really well, you know, do like a really good job. Yeah, just throw as much money as you possibly can. Maybe they're 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 not sure if it'll do well, and like the first season, they're doing it this way, and then maybe they'll improve later. Uh, it's because they're not making money off of it. What money are they getting off of this besides uh, subscriptions? Most of the well, people that's are the thing. That's, the other shit. that's the problem with all of this streaming content is that there's no real. The only reason, how do I put this? They're not making it to make money. They're making it to acquire subscribers. And it's very easy to acquire subscribers by saying, well, we got that X-Men cartoon. But once they sign up, it's like they're already there. So, like, it doesn't even have to be that good. It's just to get a couple more people to sign up for that quarter. I don't know. Disney Plus is going to go bankrupt. They can't, this is not going to last. The last will and testament of Charles Xavier. Everything. Wait, what's her name? Is Pregnant? Yeah, yeah. Saint Cloud's knocked her up. I like that. Do you know how pregnant women just walk around, just always <laughs> dramatically clutching their bellies to let you know they're pregnant? Uh, good. <laughs> no, she's just <laughs> fat, Vito. She just ate a bunch of food. I'm Excuse so me. fat. I'm so fat. Charles Xavier. Everything he built now belongs to me. Look at how shitty. Look, this is like Adobe Illustrator. This looks so bad. I, I maybe just whatever 3D thing they're using can't do it, but just taper these fucking strokes, dude. Uh, I wish, uh, like, you could just run it through a filter and it would probably even do it. Look at it. Oh, whatever. I, honestly, I'm just, I'm just here for the the Marvel Legends that are being made off of it. <laughs> the new, uh, the new uh, toys and crap. Yeah. I was trying to find, man. Yeah. Wait, wait. wait. X Men '92. Uh, from Kotobukiya. I do like the designs of the characters from this era. At one point, I wanted to buy these. Uh, yeah, that, that's specifically kind of what I collect. Like, more, that's the only type of figures I collect is like the Jim Lee style from the animated series X Men. 
Yeah, Jim Lee. Look, Jim Lee's characters. These I wanted to get at one point. These are sweet. The Professor X is is really sweet that they did on this yeah. same series. I was trying to find that one for the uh, X Men ninety two. I was yeah. literally the other night trying to find a video of someone putting that figure in scale with Marvel Legends to see how close it would fit, so I could just this get this guy in the yeah. giant chair. Yeah. Yep. All right. So as we saw from the trailer, what everybody is clearly mad about is uh, the incorrect things to be mad about. They should be mad about a uh, crappy 2D animation or 3D animation disguised as 2D animation. Look at that. Look at that. It looks like trash. Uh, instead, we're mad because maybe Rogue's butt isn't big enough. Uh, so famously, there's this one scene of Rogue. Let me see if I can bring this up. Yeah, okay. So this is uh, one scene from the original show where Rogue's got a... Oh, yeah. It's big oh, ass dumper. buddy. Big oh, old yeah. Booty. Big old shitter. Look at that dumper. Look at that dump truck. Even this that guy's like... Farting. Apocalypse is like, let me get at that dump. I don't know why he's trying to destroy the world when he sees something like that. I think that was the episode, right? He goes, I yep. cannot destroy the X Men. <laughs> because Changes mind after that. I'm so upset uh, that I can't have that ass. I must postpone my shit. All right. So who's who's What's complaining? That rogue? You're stuck. Yeah. Oh, hey, let me help get you out of there. <laughs> Uh, so right now, a bunch of people are, for some reason, uh, claim here's Tyrone Magnus, who's an idiot and Tyrone Magnus has, uh, they deleted rogues cake. Oh my God. What do you, what do you, what do you have to say? Tyrone rogues cake. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Rogues curves away. Bro, uh, did you see how we saw? All right, remember how far off she was? a word that describes this gentleman, and I just can't put my finger on it. I wish, I wish he was like joking because it's funny as a joke, but he's like dead serious. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you gotta do for a one point nine six million. What you gotta do? Yeah, is just be an idiot. I gotta hear that again. One more, one more time, Tyrone. They done took rogues cake. <laughs> <laughs> rogue's booty. <laughs> they have taken they took rogue's curves away. What the hell is going on? What's going on? Tell me. You what know, I find the hell it really is going on these days? Because come oh, on, it, it looked like he was about to crack a smile, dude. Is this I, I don't know, real? man. He's about to lecture like us character. about society. He's about to tell us what's going on. Recently, they've been debutifying, if mm. you will. Yeah. Yeah, um, if you the female characters in fiction in children's I cartoons and a children's cartoon. Well, yeah, let's be real. This was supposed this this shot of her butt. Probably, if if the animation studios ahead of time or whoever was running the show ahead of time saw this, they would have been like, ah, oh, shit. I don't know if we can put that on fucking Fox <laughs> Kids, man. Uh, I think this came back from the Korean animators, and they're like, ah, let's just run with it. And hope they did, they did give them some limitations, so I am surprised that this one shot is there you know because yeah. like there, there's this storyline with the master mold and um you know there's this one scientist that that created them and like it's almost like a scene where he sacrifices himself like what have i done and he blows up this propane tank right and then at the very end of the of the the entire episode you see him just like run in front of the camera for just a second to know that he did not die and that was like one of the limitations like they, they couldn't kill anybody well, you know, killed off Morph in the first episode. Yeah, but well, Morph came back, I guess. You know, but he was created specifically to kill off in the first episode. They're like, we got to kill off an X Men in the first episode. Yeah, but they didn't show him die. He I gets shot in, in the chest with a, with a laser. They didn't show that till later. Dies. That wasn't in the first episode. They end it. They end it on the optic blast from the Sentinel, and it cuts to Jean Grey screaming. It's, first, it's, it's supposed to be a, a two part episode. I'm not going to lie. I wish I could just put up a picture of Rogue's ass, yell for eight minutes, and get 48,000 views. That's pretty great. You probably could. 
I might. I, I probably could. You, you look honest. like the type that would get away with it. They're like, yeah, he wants one hundred percent could just do a, like just steal everybody's videos and do them yourselves and and get way more. Should I just make a new like? I've thought about it. Should I just make a character like fucking Deadbeat Dave or whatever the fuck? And yeah. I'll just dress even like even more of a retarded toddler than I normally do. I'll go, do you see what they're doing in America? <laughs> Put like way you more toys in the background. Doing? Yeah. <laughs> but but also to really throw it off, you gotta attack Vito. Be like that Vito just Wally's always yeah. talking that little call yourself a, Call yourself a P word. All the yeah, time. there's there's this pedophile <laughs> Vito out there who's fucking everything. It would be pretty. F- God, I wish it I makes me so time. mad. It, I, like I'm not gonna I lie, I get so nose. fucking mad when they call you a pedophile. I I, like, I just I, I know you point, don't give a shit. Yeah, I I I, I do not. I think but don't such, get mad because like it's so idiotic. It's, it's like just such a scumbag move. At, at this point, it's fucking disingenuous, dude. Yeah, it's really just like they're they like, gotta it's, fucking it's try. Before it used to be <laughs> genuous. No, I'm just kidding with you. It's just to uh, shut you up, and it's I hate it. I fucking yeah. Really look, they want to destroy me. They don't like me. I think a lot of you know because I'm liberal, and I also don't agree with this. Like, oh, everything's woke forever, and we have to destroy uh whatever. Yeah, I get it. And at this point, though, I think people are real. Honestly, like the more they've been going at it, I think it's actually been helpful because now people are like, guys, uh, some of the shit you're bringing up is insane. Yeah. Where they're like, oh, Vito's comic is a pedophile comic. I'm like, my comic with a like, naked 25 year old. What are you talking about? It's like, not that he's I'm even. Like, he's obviously a 12 year old, according to Lunga. Okay. Lunga yeah. Genius. According to my <laughs> haters, it's yeah. all lolly. Not, not that he's even relevant, but fucking Worski, that fucking retard. Uh, just the fact that he had shit to say last week about you and like when he's like, you know, st- literally streaming, uh, you know, CP to his audience. Yeah. <laughs> he streamed it on YouTube. <laughs> fucking, <laughs> fucking I think it's one of these things where what my, my take on it is if I wasn't pissing off all those people, I would be doing something wrong. Like, cause they're yeah. all idiots. So obviously I exist to uh, sure. make them. Uh, upset real quick uh top loaded did pull the scene of rogues uh beautiful butt so let's see if we can take a look uh top loaded as is our top x-men researcher <laughs> king of the field he, he was studying it frame by frame he's been studying sure. yeah frame by frame he's been isolating rogues ass for the show <laughs> measuring the pixels he's, he's, he knows every pixel. yeah he, we're measuring a compass. i took one for she the lost team. exactly five uh inches of butt in this scene here we go compass here's the original. protractor doing calculations so is he zapping her with a butt ray because it looks like it gets bigger as the scene goes on Oh yeah! <laughs> well, if you look right before she fell, she has no ass. Yeah, there's not a big butt there, but like they had to you... make up for it in the next frame. <laughs> Dude, they went super cheeked on it. Can I go frame by frame here? Let me see. Oh, I can't. All right, I'm just gonna have to slowly pose. All right, in the air, we see we got the crack. She's about to let. Where does this butt come from? It's not that big here. Where does it come she from? He hit the ground so hard it swelled hit, up. Yeah, That's exactly. It it's like her boobs like shot back down into her ass. You ever see those uh the those uh airbags for people? Yeah. It's, that's what it was. Yeah, that's what it is. Personal <laughs> butt bag that every X-Men comes equipped with. <laughs> Where? Where? Wait, How? I figured How? it out, Vito. Vito, it's not her ass. It's an optical illusion. It's an Bro. optical. No, no. This look, look, is, this look, is, look at the green. Look at the green. The green is her legs, not her ass. But when this she is like out, the, it looks like it's part of that's her, her ass. ass cheek. What are you? This is like about? the artist. But it shouldn't be. It, it should. It's supposed to be the side of her leg. Look at look at the way the side grown. of your leg contains your ass cheek. I don't know. This is like the up. artist on on like Lion King hiding sex in the dust, but just being like, here, boom, here it is. Yeah, how Man. long is this even on screen for? It's like a, half yeah, a few movie. seconds. I'm saying, what is this little uh, danger zone here? I don't know if you're allowed to draw that. <laughs> it's against the drawing rules. Yeah, so it's on screen for about two seconds. That is an incredible butt transformation. No butt. I, I huge can't ass. believe. No butt. Huge ass. They Go ahead. went through this entire show and picked out the two seconds of animation where she's got this gigantic ass. And then well, said, to, that's what her her ass was the entire show. That's what they, they believe. 
It's a uh, uh, stupidest thing I've ever seen. But as Top Loaded has pointed out, like Rogue does not have a huge ass in most of the show. Here we go. You can drain. There's no even. There's no even butt crack there. There's no butt. <laughs> Completely I, flat. Don't it almost out. looks like they had one and they painted it over it. Dude, the the bolt is so loose. There's no butt there. To, the butt should. Oh my god, this is a tragedy. Look, look at that. Flat. Look at There's that. No butt. It's Taylor Swift, all of a sudden. Flat. The show. Flat, the show flat. was woke in the nineties. Uh, See that I other like... episode was regular. This is when they went woke. They had to fix it. They're like, hey. Yeah. Well, Gambit still has his big wads of bubble gum that he can pull off his chest and chew on a bunch of gumballs. Uh, right there. And by the yeah, way, they had to watch these clips to get to the clip of the ass. This is the same no, episode. They, they, they didn't. I'm telling you, it's a meme. That, that meme of Rogue's ass has been floating around for oh, like, okay. a couple of months. All right. Yeah, well, either uh, way, it equates it? to them not fact checking anything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's obviously lying. Well, that's... yeah, they obviously lie all the time. Like, that's their thing. It's their and, favorite thing to do. The thing that I really up. don't. The thing that I really don't understand about it is like they want all these characters, these cartoon characters to have like the biggest tits and the biggest asses on the face of the planet. But if like a woman in real life dresses immodestly, they, you know, they brand her as a whore and that she'll be like unmarried and until she's 45 and live with cats. And I don't understand these whores, John? what I'm, they want. I'm going to avoid this, please. I, uh, I don't, I don't, yeah, look, there's no. <sighs> The thing that drives me nuts with these guys is the constant hypocrisy of like, uh, man, I I want why aren't women sexy anymore in my cartoons? I want sexy women, you know, I want to see their hot bodies. And you go, hey, this girl just opened an OnlyFans, and they're like, that's the worst thing in the world. I can't believe people would want to look at a woman's sexy body. Anyone who pays for that is I only want it if it's drawn. I only want it if it's a children's cartoon. In that case, I want. Wow, that's going to get clipped so out of bodies. You know, clip it all at this point. I love it. Uh, I only want sexy bodies in children's cartoons. I don't want OnlyFans women. I don't want pornography. Uh. You know, like it was quartering was like freaking out over She-Ra. Do we have that clip here? It, where they're going like, why isn't She-Ra like sexy now? And you're like, well, because that cartoon failed miserably. Nobody watched She-Ra. You it didn't watch seasons. She-Ra. I'm trying to find yeah. She-Ra quartering. Didn't it get Remember multiple seasons? The original She-Ra? No. The, the, oh, I thought it was about oh, the, the new one, one did. Uh, but again, let's see. She, uh, I remember quartering was like compare, like, yeah, he was. I remember it. that, yeah. But also, the original she I think she was like 19, and like in the new show, she's like 15 or something like that. She looks so like she's like, 12 or something, yeah. Okay, yeah, well, you know, because they tried to make something that would actually like okay, the original she looked terrible. It was like a ter let's look at the original she real quick. she comparison, original, no, okay. The original she was awesome. just like, what? maybe girls will be into He-Man, and they weren't. Like, it was not a popular show, okay? So the original she here on the right. And I'm like, yeah, if I was a little girl, why would I want to watch? This is a guy. This is a character designed for guys, right? Like, as no, a guy, I'm for like... Girls. My, my, my female cousins watch she all the time. This, the one on the left? Or the no, one the on one the right? on the right. I'm, I'm fucking old, Vito. I said my cousins. Okay, well, I don't like, remember. I was not of the age of She-Ra, but I remember being like, "Yeah, she looks like." like I, three, three I, I, I do remember. Like, I, I'm I'm this old too, and I I remember uh, boys and girls watching this show because it, it was only like three girl shows. There was, there was She-Ra, uh, what Gem, and like My Little Pony. That was the only girl show on. Oh, and Rainbow Bright. So they had like four choices. So I thought the original She-Ra she was not like popular enough to. Get even more than like one season. I don't even. Crazy. I don't even think that's it. It's just that He Man was so popular and it was related. Okay. American Simp, uh, and then it wore off. whatever. Uh, two seasons. Uh, two seasons. Ninety three episodes. That's, that's yeah, but the toys weren't. Done. If the toys were selling, you would have got a million more episodes. I don't actually know how, how well the uh, the toys sold. Anyway, feel free to prove me wrong. The point is, I think that, like, look, it's not like they just they, they pulled these shows out of their ass and go, oh, let's like completely change it. It's like, no, we know what kids will buy. All right. We know what kids will watch and kids will buy. And I think this was like obviously what modern kids, the kind of yeah, it looks like every other cartoon. Yeah, it looks like anime shit. Kids yeah. these days love anime shit. 
See, that's what I don't understand is people are like, why does it look like this 80s cartoon? I'm like, because we don't live in the fucking 80s anymore, you retard. It's for kids of this modern era who grew up watching like SpongeBob and Avatar. And if you tried to give them this 80s looking fucking, uh, I don't even know how you describe this, like Barbie kind of sexy Barbie warrior thing, they're just not into it. And this show did well. So like this show made money and it had a good fan base. It, it lasted like what, three seasons or something? Uh, and then, you know, guys like quartering go, oh, they're trying to make, uh, the women into boys. They want to, uh, they want to, I don't know, change your kid's gender or something. Uh, here we go. Yeah. A quartering. And there we go. It's always the she weirdos. People never got over the fact I criticized. They turned a beautiful, strong woman. What appears to be a 13 year old boy. Uh, again, it's, it's a show for kids. I, what do you want? It's not for you, bro. <laughs> Uh, you can compare, you can complain more about X Men because X Men, I guess, is for you. But this idea that Rogue never had a butt or that they got rid of Rogue's butt is clearly incorrect. Uh, now, oh, our good friend. So J I invited JDA on the stream. Uh, he said no because he's a coward. No, I'm lying. He's a. I guess today somebody has a birthday and he has to go to a birthday party. So we're not going to give him shit for that. But we are going to give him shit for running uh, this terrible website. <laughs> uh called fandom pulse uh basically john has decided he wants to take uh bounding into comics market share and kind of do the same thing they were doing except more of it uh and what? one of the okay let's see nick offerman swears at christians during his spirit words acceptance speech of course uh i don't know a lot of other stuff we're supposed to be mad about what we're supposed to be mad about today did John write this one or did someone else on his staff write it? Oh, no, of oh, course no, John wrote, wrote it. it. Good work, John. Marvel reveals gender-bending masculine redesign for Storm. Oh, my God. They're going to gender-bend. Hold on. Uh, just found an article saying She-Ra sold $80 million in merch in 1985. He-Man sold $400 million. Uh, it sounds like it was very popular. Well, is $80 million in merch good for a doll line? I think it's not. In 85? Yeah. In eighty five, uh, yeah, it, that's got to be a crazy amount of money. Yeah, but how much did they spend on the marketing? Right, not and much because making a, a cartoon and getting like cartoons. Like, I don't know. Back, back then, like they were allowed to literally advertise for the action figures while the show was running. You know, there weren't any like consumer protection laws back then. But weren't and, most of the Shira bad guys sold under the He Man line anyway? Like uh, all the Hordak guys. I don't know. No, they had a completely different uh, fucking unit. No, the main bad guy on She-Ra is Hordak, but th those toys were sold under the He-Man line because they were like manly male toys because they, they crossed they're, over. They're fudging the numbers. Hmm. All I know is you put out pound puppies and they probably made like a billion. You know, that's what the girls were buying. The fucking Maybe pound the girls puppies. in your neighborhood. Yeah, yeah they all know. wanted pound puppies. All right, guys, we're about to see the masculine gender bent rogue prepare brace yourself uh you know say a prayer so the lgbt community does not destroy your soul here we go oh my god oh, they made no. her black damn it they made oh, her black no. woke it's woke <laughs> shut it down uh, guys, Rogue is always dressed like this. <laughs> <laughs> She's slightly darker, though, right? She's definitely dark, like very dark, but whatever. I mean, if anything, that's just more accurate to the comic. She's from, she's African, African, right? You know, well, she's uh, she's a uh, straight up black. All right, uh, X Men ninety seven is under fire for fans for their making identity politics to sit. What the John? What sentence is this? <laughs> X Men has been under fire from fans. For their making identity politics decisions. In I think you in need to lose design. this word. For making identity politics decisions. In the, in design. the designs. which are John, you're a writer. Come on. Fix this. The show is going to release on Disney Plus as a continuation of the original animated series. Now Marvel Studios has unveiled they will be releasing a preview comic on March 27th. However, fans note they've made design changes to Storm to make the, gender, the character into a gender-bending, more masculine figure. Okay. This is a crazy article. This is like. So we have to, of course, reference an episode of South Park 
And every time this happens where something kind of funny happens, remember when uh, Dave Chappelle was like, ah, you know, I keep getting shit from the alphabet community. I'm like, oh, that's kind of funny. Like, I get it. They got a lot of letters. And then for the next five years, however long ago he made that joke, every fucking guy goes, oh, the alphabet community looks like the alphabet community. I'm like, if the guy makes a joke, it's his joke. You can make that joke a couple times. Okay, but this, put a chick in it, make it lame and gay. Please just stop repeating that stupid South Park joke over and over. <laughs> uh, with Echo, Disney Plus hit a new low with identity politics. Got it. X-Men 97 makes matters worse. We learned that the character Morph, a shapeshifter, would be changed to non-binary. This isn't unusual for Marvel, who's been doing the same with Mystique. This change to X-Men 97 with Morph was pushed further as it was revealed the voice actor for the Disney Plus show is a homosexual activist. What the fuck does that mean? Wouldn't that make sense though? Like, if the if guy is able to shape shape shift and turn into different people and stuff, wouldn't it make sense for them to be like? I'll be fluid? honest. Marv if seems I like the could most... turn into a hot girl, I would do it all <laughs> the time. <laughs> I would do it just to play with my big titties and uh, slap them around a bit. Any shapeshifter character that isn't non-binary makes no fucking sense. <laughs> I would just do it. I would do it, and I would like. I would. You know what? I'd be a really hot chick, and I go to the bar, and I flirt with a guy, and I take him home, and then I'd come out. I'd go. I just gotta go to the bathroom to 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 change, and I'd come out as me. And he'd be like, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? And I go, what's the matter, buddy? It looks like you drank too much. Uh oh. Did you accidentally get a catfish by a big fat Italian? That would be fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you like drink something and make it look like a potion and just have your, your vagina turn into a penis? Yeah. I guess, oops. <laughs> Oopsie doodle. Like, oh, no, it's happening again. See, I'm, I'm kind of thinking with his sense of humor, like if he's like about to bang a chick, he'd be doing like the Captain Morgan by the sofa, but he'd have like a micro penis. And then he'd be like, I'm just kidding. And then make like a, I don't know, fucking horse dick or something. This is why Ronma didn't make any sense. Because anytime he turned to that chick, I'd be like, well, he's going to be like jacking off. I'd, I'd just dump water on me just to have a little bit of fun. Uh, I don't know if you guys ever read Ronma. All right. What were they looking at? Where's fucking Fandom Pulse? Is that what it's called? Yeah. Fandom Pulse is going to tell me. All right. So, yes. Look, it could be that. It could be that he mostly identifies as a guy. No, you know what? It just makes perfect sense for him to be non-binary. That's it. Okay, he would also be a furry. He'd be turning into animals. Like, <laughs> be yeah. Point. I as think you would in the comics, when he's born, he's, he's born as a, like a blob or something. He's not even born as a person, as a man. Complaining uh, so about was... how woke X Men is is just the stupidest fucking thing ever. It's it, 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 like it was designed to be woke. It's an allegory. Oh, don't say the fucking... that. They, get, they go crazy when you say that, John. It, it was an allegory for the civil rights movement. That's no, it wasn't. Way. According to Stanley, it was not. Unless Stanley's a retard. You, you and have to dead, ask him like so six or seven him. different <laughs> times. Like one one time he'll say it is, and one time he says it isn't. And if it is, it was by accident. It's very cool. clear. It's very obviously an allegory for the civil rights movement. If you don't, if you he, he also that, he also says that uh, Magneto and uh, Charles weren't based off of Martin Luther King and uh, Malcolm X either. But they very Look, clearly are. I'm willing to say that maybe consciously they did not realize that it was about a civil rights struggle, but it clearly became a civil rights allegory, like because it is. Because I think. About uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Tom, about AIDS, you, right? you probably know more than Go me ahead. about it. But uh Magneto's um um like past yeah. with the Holocaust oh, and all that stuff. Oh crap, I shouldn't have said that word. My bad. No, you can say Holocaust. <laughs> Um, I think they said that it was good. You can't say that Holocaust was an awesome thing. I don't think that was Stan Lee that originally wrote that stuff. I think they came in later. No, Magneto would have been because when was Magneto's first appearance? Uh, Magneto wouldn't have been able to be in the Holocaust. Wasn't like X Men 4? 1963. So that would have mean uh, the Holocaust had happened in what 1942. So he'd be about Mm. 20 years old. No, that doesn't work. So they added all that later. I'm trying to remember the guy's name uh, that, that wrote it, but I, it's Hitler. Me. Oh, no. not the Holocaust. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. I'm trying to remember the name of the guy who wrote the Holocaust. 
Uh, anyway, all right. Morph is, uh, yeah, Morph turns into a lady and he touches his tits. As people are mentioning, uh, I guess uh, Ranma did touch her titties a lot. So that's good. Good for her. Uh, X Men 97 Philands complained about design changes to Rogue. She used to be a heartthrob character, but is now decurved to appear more androgynous. John, shut the fuck up. Come on. YouTube commentators noting the character now has a uniboob. Did we see that in the trailer? Yes, that, oh. that, that's true. Um, okay. So what it is, is uh, uh, Ethan Van Skyro was talking about this the other day. So real fabric, when it would stretch over two big boobs, it makes that uh, It would make a uniboob like normally. Boob. No? So, yeah, normally. So what they do is they actually draw individual boobs because it looks cooler. They're like, because the rule of cool rather than what real what fabric would do. I guess, like. And I guess they're drawing it now in this cartoon what real fabric would look like. Again, they're also uh 3d models and it's probably a lot less work to just have it be a uniboob than to have to go in and fix it when the boobs look weird it's also a kid show so it's maybe... also a children's show i wish you had put an example of oh this. sure when john says it's a children's show you go with it when i say it's a children's show you give me shit Vito. it's it's a children's show that you know it's, you're supposed to watch it with your kids ma makes right. magneto relive the holocaust you're supposed to go hey you want to see uh, what cartoons dad used to watch? And right. you sit down with the kids and they go, uh, I don't get it. There's not a joke every two seconds. Can we just watch? What's Tom all these Bob? tentacles, daddy Vito? And you're like, yeah. Shut up, what dude. are all these watch tentacles? It. Yeah, my kids are not allowed to see any of the cartoons I used to watch. I don't have those VHS tapes anymore, though. At one point, there were some La Blue Girl uh, animation cells on eBay, and I don't know why I didn't buy one. Uh, but somewhere I do have an original Toshio Miita piece. I should have negotiated to make him give you the original of the cover for Super Killer, but I didn't do that. Uh, let's see. Next, next, man. 90, so yeah, okay. Tarnished another character. Sh uh, Storm's shown to be wearing what looks like a men's suit with a short haircut to make the character look more masculine. Oh, my God. She's totally Katie Lang now. That is, yeah, I've never seen, like, a newscaster lady wear a men's suit uh, or, a, or a woman's suit. Let's be clear. Women's suits uh, do exist. Well, in the uh, original here's show, an she example wore of one. Yeah. Oh no, she's so masculine now. <laughs> what am I? What am I supposed to do with this? I I can see I, they kind of have a point with the haircut, I guess. Let me see the haircut. No, no. The, the haircut Hold is on. from when she. Uh, she's always mohawk. had this. She's always had that isn't fucking that, mohawk. Yeah, but isn't that like yeah. more the comic book and the cartoon? He she. Didn't no, really it's in it. the cartoon. You too, lose. Too. I got. You I got lose. receipts. Look, I get. Hey, you okay. lose. All right, Good I was day, sir. John, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> You're like okay, 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 okay. You're supposed to argue with me. You're supposed to go. All right, fuck. Well, no, because if, if, if I bad news, if I uh, if although I, wait, is if this, I don't is concede this... to when I'm wrong, I can't yeah. argue vehemently when I'm right. Is this days of future Why? past though? So is this alternate reality, rogue, or is this regular? Rogue? Yeah. yeah, regular. This is alternate reality. Yeah. Oh, ah, see, God. I was ah, right. Yeah, you guys are cheating now. <laughs> Only alternate reality rogue would have her head shaved on the side. She, I think she looks cool with that though. I remember she had that leather jacket or whatever. That was a cool look for rogue. Hold on. It does look Rogue, storm, 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 sir. Ne nearly everyone in this scene storm, has the right. their Age of Apocalypse uh, you, you costumes. You got that booty on your brain, don't you? Vito still thinking about I the I got that booty on the brain. Why is it all pictures of... Oh, hold on. Punk Storm. Oh, this is like a render. Hold on. Punk Storm X-Men. It was a cool look. I remember being like, hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, Why are there no good images of it? Let's see. Can I open this? Top 10 storm costumes. No, that's not what I wanted. Yeah, there, there. Look. Yeah, look at that. That's when she was the leader of the X-Men. Although here, like, if you're going to draw her with a horse mane, don't also give her a horse face. This just looks like a horse. <laughs> this looks like horse man's uh, sidekick right here. Maybe, maybe horse man could have a sidekick pony girl. And they go on adventures. I uh, actually, I, I, I'm kind of excited for horse man. I think it's gonna let uh, Eric July and his pals let out all their inner gay demons to have a leather clad uh, gimp man run around with <laughs> two big black dildos. Have you seen his fucking? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, why did you give him two awesome. big dildos? What the fuck? 
Horseman. If that was the story, if he was like some sort of fucked up like vigilante gimp suit guy, that would be that would like you couldn't make a better comic book than that. That would be actually cool. See, that's the problem. Is I'm like, where where are my horseman pictures? Oh, here. They're always just left of cool. Like they're just always like fucking just missing it. If by this a guy bit. was just running around. And he catches the bad With guy. A ball like, gag? All right, all right, you got me. Take me in. He's like, Oh, I'm not gonna take you in, but something's something's going in. And like, what do you mean something's going in? <laughs> <laughs> Those are some nice French tickler sticks. Look, they're even ribbed on the edge for his pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Prostate over, beaters. Boy. The horseman's here to take you to town. Okay, so like if you just take this image and get rid of his stupid ears, it's actually a, like not a terrible, you know, it's like a generic fucking whatever guy, but yeah. just get rid of these stupid horse ears. Jesus Christ. It doesn't make any sense. He's like, Why doesn't he have a tail? Whose character is this? This is Eric July's new guy. This is oh, uh, okay. Ripperverse. Although Eric heard about says, Dixon. Yeah, well, Eric says, This is not my idea. This is a Chuck Dixon and uh, who is it? Who's who else? Joe Bennett. Is Joe Bennett original. Well, uh, Eric said it was Chuck Dixon, and then Chuck Dixon said it was Joe Bennett. Like, why do you have luck as to who idea was? Why Special. does he have a shark fin and Batman ears? <laughs> it's supposed <laughs> to be like a, the frill of like a horse. Special Ed oh. class uh, says gay man bullied in high school embraces hyper masculinity and violence. That's the tagline. That's the, the like, like that's a perfect pitch for what that comic book should be. I wanted to do a gay Batman character, and I'm actually mad that Eric beat me to it. <laughs> like, I had this idea for a character called the Bear, and he just like goes around beating <laughs> the shit out of each other and being gay. And then he has like this little guy who wants to be Robin called the Otter, who just like follows him around. And he's like, "Get out of here!" And he's like, "I'll suck your dick if you let me be your sidekick." And he's like, "Oh, fine." <laughs> Here's George Peter Gastis. George, you big Horseman fan? Uh, yeah, I'm a very big fan. I'm, I'm I waiting, love I'm waiting for the stallion of books to come through. The horse, yeah, he is the ultimate stallion. <laughs> Uh, Look, I, I'll say I, this, I, like, this little, like, rook on the front. Not a rook. I don't know why everyone keeps saying that. This little knight, like, uh, chest knight thing on the front. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. Just get rid of the fucking ears and the stupid head frill. He shouldn't actually be a horse. He should be... A horseman is the guy who rides the horse. I guarantee okay? you. That's the name of the chest piece. <laughs> you, you, you don't realize this, but actually, it was called the knight. But then Eric's like, that's not what they call the chess piece. He the horseman. Yeah, the horseman <laughs> on the chess board. <laughs> They're like, okay, Eric, we're all horsemen. <laughs> Guys, I guarantee you, those boxes are around, what do you call those things, around his belt? They'll, yeah. they'll, they'll never get used. Yeah, well, that's like your typical random utility belt that if you need to pull something, a deuce ex machina out, you can get to it. Uh, Jason Long says horseman sidekick would be the jockey. Yeah, he rides him around. He just gets on his back like a little guy, like Master Blaster, and he just uh, rides the horseman. All right, let's finish this X-Men article. Uh, let's see. So, again, Rogue looks too much like a man. It's the worst thing that ever happened. Storm, you keep calling her Rogue. Sorry, Storm is a whatever. It's like one word. It's hard to remember. The new look seems intended to push gender bending on X Men ninety seven. God, John, I hate you so much. I hate you so much, John. I know what he's doing. I know what he's doing. Here's what he's. Here's what John's doing, and here's what bounding into comics does. All these YouTube channels ex and mine as well exist to make lazy bullshit where they just read a news article and comment on it. So all he's doing is making the article for YouTube guys to go. Well, you know, I mean, uh, this is what this site's saying. We're not saying it, but, uh, you know, you do have to kind of agree they're pushing the boundaries of identity, politics, and sexuality to new lows with each series. Fans I can only know. hope Marvel won't retcon Storm to be gay. Did Storm ever have a boyfriend or anything like that? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Who was Storm's boyfriend? There was was he Black Panther? Panther. She, married, she married Black Panther. You know, oh, but that's there was, uh, before that uh, was the, uh, the guy who created all the technology for the X-Men. Forge. 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 Uh, real quick, let's see. So we had we saw Rogue's butt. Let's take a look just just to be clear that Rogue has always been wearing this is a nice lady suit. Nice lady suit there. With pants, not a mini skirt. With pants, you're right. Look, she's wearing pants. They're desexifying storm. She has to wear pants. 
Oh my god. She's not no. she's not a valley girl in the mall right now. She's businesswoman. I mean, didn't you always kind of get the feeling that Storm was the man in the bedroom? Like that's kind of her character. Yeah. 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 Like, take charge, like, yeah. Storm would peg you. Storm would take that horseman stick and take it to you all day long. Uh and then what do we what do we have about Morph? Where Morph is a... Uh, Non-binary. So Morph died in the first issue. I mean, we've just accepted. Look, uh, Morph is gonna be a lady because that's hot. I get it. He's gonna turn into this chick. Is that Jean Grey? Oh, what sorry, I have the wrong tab shared. I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah, that's Jean Grey. That's Jean Grey. Yeah, so he's gonna turn into Jean Grey and he's gonna fuck Wolverine, and then Wolverine's gonna be like, "Oh my God, it was Morph the whole time. <laughs> that's kind of hot. I can't believe it." <laughs> And uh, that's the show. Uh, all right. Well, that's our X Men. Let's talk about Horseman, guys. Let's I think do we got to talk. I think we got to talk about Horseman. We haven't talked about Horseman on this show. So, uh, Yaira is uh, late, which is fine. Take all the time you need, Eric. There's no, there's no shame in being late. There's only shame in uh, attacking everyone else for being late, uh, and then being late on the very late. next comic that you. You said we were getting three comics in 2023. Didn't happen, which is fine. That's the other thing. I get crazy because people are like, well, you know, you were mad at Eric for being late. I'm like, when? When the fuck did I ever say that? I don't give a shit. He can take as long as he wants to make his dog shit. I don't care. Uh, and then he's like, Ooh, I'm going to police how late everybody else is, even though he's I tired care, of Vito. Guys. I care that he's taking so long. Who you, else you is late? Out these... well, lots of people are late. I know lots of people are late. Look, uh, dark. You three. know the guy going after you, Dark Gift. He's late by like three years. Oh shit! Really? How? Yeah. His hunting oh, Alice is, is hunting Alice. It's like hunting uh, Alice. Is money. Three years late. Well, he took money in 2021 and said he was going to deliver. I guess in 2022, and that never happened uh, because he put up the update with the Big King stuff. And he's like, and the book is almost finished. I'm like, wait a minute. Why is this book almost finished? Yeah, hold on. One wasn't wasn't Robert Kirkman? Like always, notoriously late. Once the uh, the Walking Dead series started, like the TV show series, like this once that like started, I dog. think he was like late every Is this month. This Vic King art? No, Who's that's dark. Gri- that's dark gift. Uh, Anthony Romano. Why are the heads so fucking big, <laughs> bro? This is so. This is. Uh, I'm not, you know what? Forget it. Looks great, guys. Support. No, it doesn't. It looks like dog this shit. Is like, this is like Mike John... Tyson's punch out. <laughs> hey, I'm here to defend uh, Dark Gift's honor. Okay. I'm here to defend <laughs> Late, late, late Honor. <laughs> I do think he needs to shrink this head down a, quite a bit. It, it's almost like Mike Tyson on top, and then Don Flamenco on the on the bottom right there. Well, like so, like a, a bot. What's the typical adult? Uh, superhero body length like seven heads, eight heads. What's the, what's not superheroes? No, th- these are I know, but people, what's like okay? So what's an average person? Six heads, six and a half. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, eight, six eight. and a head to eight, uh, six and a half, six to eight. eight. Right? Yeah. This is like four heads tall. <laughs> yeah, they look like midgets. <laughs> <laughs> you can just you can just take the head and you can go all right. One head, two head, three head. Yeah. Uh, uh sorry, I'm looking at this. Oh my god. But you know, whatever. This was back in 2021. He's had time. Maybe he'll change it around. Also, uh, again, I'm a Photoshop guy. Uh, please send me, just send me your logo. I will make it just better. Get rid of this emboss effect. It looks like trash. Uh, but you know what? I'm not attacked. We're not attacked. Oh, Come on, man. <laughs> well, yeah. It's you know, fucking stupid looking. It looks terrible. It looks like dog shit. Oh, wait, look, I don't story, feel bad. The story sounds like dog guy. shit, too. The, the oh, story sounds like it, it's fucking Alice in Wonderland cross. George, tell us, tell us. Tell of us. The lambs. Tell okay, us. look, look. It's what? it's it's not about it looks bad. It's, is the artwork consistent? Yes or no? It, it, is it does this, it, is there a story? Yes or no? If you can answer the, uh, those two mm-hmm. questions with a yes, everything's fine. If you can answer one yes and one no, then it's okay. But if you if you got two no's, well then it's not a it's not a good thing. You're right. This is very consistent. We are very excited. Yeah, very consistently for terrible. hunting Alice. This is a lady who has uh, knives for hands, uh, which is cool. <laughs> yeah, that's Kni- knife very fingers, consistent. Which is very cool. Uh, Agent Verily Wingate. I'm very excited. 
and uh, you also get you also get a little you get. I gotta stop picking fights. This is kind of cool, actually. This is uh, this I'm okay. You didn't with. pick this fight. This guy picked a <laughs> fight with you. I know. I'm too nice. <laughs> uh i like you know what like this even though like you know obviously it's like kind of weird anatomy at least it's got kind of a style to it i can appreciate that this uh, is exactly, yeah I'll, I'll say that this one this roulette the logo the sucks i dude send i will fix your fucking logo what what is this come on just like fucking get a ruler and make straight lines so you Put take an illustrator why you did just... he draw with saggy tits uh i don't know <laughs> Because not everybody's like your nipples are pointing at the ground. I, like, like, I, I this I'm okay with, but you got to fix this logo. Send it to me. I, I'll vector it. Yeah, but aren't these the the guys that are like oh, they don't draw sexy women anymore? Draw saggy tits. I just wish. Uh, I just look. I'm not, I'm not here Maybe to talk. I'm here to talk crap about Maybe. Eric July, not Dark Gift. Dark Gift. I hope you make a million dollars. You deserve it. Uh oh God, ten minutes. Let's here. Let's hear. So Chuck Dixon, who uh, is no longer allowed to work at DC because he's an old boomer who forgot how to write comic books decently uh and can't connect with the modern generation does do has junk dixon written anything good in the last 10 years alpha core well obviously alpha core that's a masterpiece yeah. among masterpieces uh he wrote and everybody goes stuff for alternate comics yeah you wrote that. that fucking alt hero q that All right. twist with the child porn on the thumb drive <laughs> A big good twist, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Never would have saw that coming. Now Dude, I was laughing out jail. loud with that fucking uh, version of the comic. <laughs> <laughs> Literally out loud laughing. Uh, how, it was good. Uh, all right, let's hear what Eric has to say about the Horseman. We'll just start from the beginning. We're gonna watch this. If you have not watched this, and maybe this is your first time viewing it, we are gonna take a look. Chuck Wait. Dixon. He hasn't he watched his own meet. video for his own comic book company. That I he's think he's saying to... you at home have oh. seen it. Yeah. If, if I, I imagine he's watched, <laughs> they it. premiered it at, at MegaCon, so he watched it. It'd be okay. funny if he watched it and Chuck Dixon goes, "Hey, Eric, fuck you!" And he's like, <laughs> "Oh, damn it! I should have watched this before I put it on there." <laughs> All right. He at the panel had a family emergency that he had to tend to. And he wasn't able to make MegaCon, though he had all the plans to what, be Chuck there. Dixon couldn't get However, there? Okay. Yeah. he was there. He was there. In Steve, spirit. In spirit. In a different way. In a so different let's way. listen in on because of horse Chuck man. and the upcoming Chuck. project. Joe Bennett had this idea, and uh, he presented it to me. Oh, I have a question. Yeah. Does, does Chuck Dixon live near Eric? Because they film a lot of promos together. Does Chuck Dixon no, live it's, in it's Texas? It's the same promo. No, they, they filmed the, all the promos at one time, you know. Yeah, but he's been he's like been sitting on this. All right, all right, all right. So, and you're saying uh, we're gonna find out who came up with Horseman Project. Joe Bennett had this idea, and uh, so it was Joe Bennett's idea. So we're arguing about uh, Tony, whose idea yeah, it was. Yeah, because uh, Eric said that it was uh, Chuck Dixon's idea when he presents it at uh, MegaCon, but then well, the because video, it's probably Chuck Dixon's more... like, well, it's Joe Bennett. Joe but Bennett's not a writer, though. Joe Bennett's an artist. Uh oh, hey, we got people in the back. I didn't even see Layton's here. Hey, Layton. I tried How to tell you, you like buddy? twice, but you didn't pay attention. I don't pay attention to anything. I'm an idiot. It doesn't show me everybody for if I have to like scroll down to see new people. All right. I think you know what? I think you, you tell the audience, like I would probably do the same thing if it was our Eric. I'd go, and guess whose idea it is? It's uh it's not that guy who made a bunch of weird anti-Semitic artwork, it's Chuck Dixon. <laughs> If you do, it's Joe Bennett. Then you got to be like, wait, that guy who hates Jews? You go, ah, don't worry about that. That's fine. <laughs> I don't know if he hates Jews, but he did have a couple public gaffes where, which were embarrassing. Uh, all right, what I presented he? it to me, and he said, "What the Ripperverse really needs is a is a street level." Crime. Oh, dude, he's got Horseman music already. You guys hear those guitars twanging? Gonna get my sticks. Gonna rape your butt. You're gonna be the horseman slut. It's the horseman. <laughs> doo, 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 doo. Here it comes. And uh, he presented it to me, and he said, "What the Ripperverse really needs yeah. is a is a street level crime fighting character, right? Self made man." And so Joe and I wasn't together, that supposed to be Isom, the, the street level <laughs> crime fighter? <laughs> what the fuck is going on with this That's entire what we thing? Thought. That's what we were told. <laughs> we're not supposed to bring that up. <laughs> oh, BA Turner's here. BA Turner. Uh, don't tell Dark Gift we looked at his comic. I'm gonna get yelled at. And we presented the idea to Eric, and thank God he liked it. <laughs> so we're creating a. Thank God he liked it, Chuck. You're a grown man. 
You don't got to show the air dry is what? Like 32, 33. 33. The, the idea that this like supposedly legendary comic book professional is begging a 30 year old YouTuber to give him money to make a stupid. Yeah, I don't, I don't comic buy it. It's fucking pathetic. Just be like, hey, I went to Eric and I said, let's do a cool thing. I didn't grind. I didn't, uh, oh, thank God he liked it. Thank God I impressed Eric July, which I'm sure is the hardest thing in the world to do. Hey, Eric, it's a guy who shoots lasers out his dick. That's cool. Put that in that sum. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, can't I needed he's money, and he's got friend. money in a project. Yeah. So is it woke? You know. Is it gay? Uh, it's only kind of gay. Uh, yeah, go make it. I don't give a shit. Fuck it. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know, one shot presenting one shot. the horseman. One uh, shot. Just super action, the way only Joe Bennett can deliver it. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun, I promise. Oh, he's the motherfucking horse, man. There you go. That's the first cover. It's going to be a whole ass seen. shit of a time. Of uh, the horseman by our own Kanan White. Kanan White is a uh, witch guy. Kanan yeah, White did the cover. I think he has a... Yeah, Kanan White did the cover. He's the art director. He's new hire. Oh, right. That guy. The guy whose comic is late. Two am of his I, comics are late. Yeah. Am I crazy? Does it fun remind anybody else of the House of M? Uh, I don't know. I think they're looking. Uh, maybe it's I'm shaped crazy. Like a, it's shaped like a fucking bat. I mean, they did the like bat wings. It's kind of obvious. It's like, hey, why'd you guys make it like dip down at the ends? You know, like like bat wings. I don't know. Shut up. Yeah, I'm surprised they asked me. I do want to. All right. What do, what do you got to say? What are you going to tell me about Horseman, Eric? To talk a little more about it again big shout out hold on wait wait wait. what is in uh eric's this is, i, I was gonna see. say uh let's what is see in... the recommended eric are you learning how to get abs 1.5 million views in your suggested All is right. that black angus's video what can he do <laughs> <laughs> isn't that yeah isn't that like ripping on uh yeah pbd exposes liberal bullets he's been watching uh some yellow flash and uh the sonic soundtrack okay so he likes a little sonic yeah because sonic's a hot dog company and, and yeah. <laughs> he's i saw that dr disrespect play escape from tarkov i i guess so yeah he must be subscribed to him i think right I up mean, here 1.5 million views uh eric is working <laughs> on his abs guys that's what you need to know this and shaved arms out. Yeah, you call him fat. Right. He's got he's got to get his back in shape. Good to know. Got it. Again, uh, big shout out. To what Kane else are you gonna White say, Eric? You're not even covered. writing. Shout out to Joe Bennett. Shout out to uh, my man's my man Chuck Dixon. Did he forget his name? Shout out to uh, my man. One hundred percent forgot. Yeah, his name. Chuck Dixon. Joe Bennett. <laughs> shout out to uh, my man's. <laughs> he did. Chuck Dixon. <laughs> 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 shout out to my man's. Fuck, what's that old Chris guy? Claremont? What's no, that Chuck old Dixon. weird guy I pay to make comics for me? Ah, fuck. Show you this as well. As you guys saw, the Chuck first showed it. This was like the original kind of uh, design. All right, look. So Eric says, The Horseman. Good. That's what you call it. Because when he first did that, but the cover says Horseman. He is changing it. Uh, yeah, and the design is completely different from what the perspective on, the cover. on this cover is like fucked. I mean, it's. It's cool, but like the man, like it might be AI art because the perspective makes no sense. The buildings are all going at different vantage points. Well, look, look really at weird. the um, the uh, light post right in the corner by his um, this random right. fucking thing that makes no sense. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I don't know. It looks like AI art. Uh, it's possible it that's just the background is no. AI. Mm. Well, yeah, there are some I, weird problems with the fucking helmet. Because getting look, 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 I think EBS broke this down. Isn't this yeah. like I'm not a comic book like so much of a comic book guy that I know what it's called? What it, it's like a three point something he the called vanishing it. Vanishing point, three point perspective. Multiple, three point look, perspective. All these That's lines it. should be going to the same vanishing point. So this yeah, one on that the we screen have here, for. can you see my cursor? Like this is the vanishing point. If we base it on this building. So all the lines should be going this way. But this line is going over here. And this vanishing point is up here and not here with the other one. And this one, yeah, it's all... It's really yeah, weird. It's really, yeah, that's like... That just, light post doesn't make any sense, too. That I light see what post Tony's is talking about bizarre. Back there. Yeah. It's goofy. Oh, uh, this is uh, this background filler. Also, what's up with that weird lightning in the bank? Yeah, but background filler, you you at least like get basic. No, they, no, they don't care. 
uh, if they cared, they would have matched the vanishing point. This is just background filler. AI couldn't mm -hmm. couldn't uh, maintain uh, perfect uh, what's called it, geometry. If it did, uh, it can't. I've I've tried it. Yeah, uh, it's just really weird that you would put this up with. It's uh, it's hard to explain. Um, uh, by by Joe and I just love everything about this character, man. They like what? pitched this idea to me. Okay. And, you know, we're planning our schedule because Joe and Chuck are working. So what you love about this character is that you're planning your schedule. Tell me why you like the character, Eric. Of course. Joe and, and Chuck are work horses. Stuff with the Get it? Because it's Horseman. It's about two war work horses making a horse character. Joe and Chuck are work horses, and they want to keep doing work stuff horseman. with the Riververse. So, yes, we have <laughs> keep some chicks. other stuff. We got that Chuck's role. We also have, like, um, uh, Alpha Core 2. We have all of that. But what was going to be the next next Chuck and um, Joe? Joe, yeah, Joe Bennett's name. Joe you know, Bennett. The There's As not that many people. Street level. Street level. Self-made. Self-made. No power. Watch this fucking stream. This is you're going to learn a lot about this character. What does anything he just said mean? Like, no, actually. Just, wait, wait. I mean, he's just saying he's Batman without money? Is that it? No, no, he's no. He's just like waffling on, man. Guys, he said he if, if he wants to keep those uh, guys working. Well, for them to keep working, they should, they would have been on to Alpha Core number two. Yeah, so why, that why they, make sense. Yeah. Why are they not just cranking on Alpha Core? Why do they have to take a sidestep to this product? Whatever. Yeah, you have a creative team, and you this Alpha Core... I don't know what. Yeah, that's really weird because it's the exact. If it was a different creative team, I'd be like, all right, this guy's really just like getting as many people as he can. But why would you not just have those guys keep make? You know, here's what I think. Eric has some weird, like plot convergence in his mind. So he's like, well, you can't get too far ahead of Alpha Core because we need to do this thing in Isom first, right? So he has to wait for Isom to conclude before he can push forward on Alpha Core. Because again, this is the problem with shared universes and why they suck. Is that like you're creatively hamstrung with half these stories? Well, if I was looking at a comic the other day where Dwayne McDuffie's like, "Oh, I can't wait to like finish my Hawk Girl uh, storyline that I've been setting up for the last year." And they're like, "Oh, sorry, we're killing her in the next crisis event." He's like, "Oh, fuck. Well, that's gonna not make that story any good." Uh, shared superhero universes are bad. They're not good. They were good in the 60s when no one gave a shit. I was you like, know, yeah, I don't know. Spider-Man's got a new co costume. Who fucking cares? You know, he could be just fattening up his company to be sold, just like DC Comics did with uh, James Gunn. He can't, though, because he keeps saying over and over, I will never let anyone invest in my company. Oh, come on, man. You Are you going to take that his word for it? He, how many times has he gone back on what everything he said? Well, because that's retarded. If you wanted investors, you would not say... I mean... Because then you're discouraging investors from contacting you when you say shit like that. You should be saying, yeah, well, we've been having some talks. There's been some offers. But frankly, I think the company's worth way more. And uh, unless we get like a really great offer, I think it's just better to keep it independent. Uh, instead, he... Uh, Vito, you're just talking about anime. Yeah, anime is... That's why anime is great. Because when I tell someone to read Naruto, I don't tell them, also, you have to read all of One Piece first to understand uh, where the Naruto character came from. It's a single self-contained story. Uh, all right. What am I going to learn about this? Is, 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 here's the other thing. Eric has no idea how to sell a story because I don't think he understands stories. So he can't tell us anything like, like that's going to happen or why it's cool. All I can say is he's self-made and street level. It's like, what does he do? Where does he come from? What is he trying to do? Is he a vigilante? Is he rich? Is he poor? Who he is, what he's about. All around badass. That doesn't tell me anything. Every superhero is an all-around badass. Like 99% of them. What's funny an all about this badass. is we're right back to the ISOM shit where it's like, what What does he do? What is the what is Eric, his power? what's the plot it's of like, the book? What do you mean? What do, you mean what do I mean? What is the plot of the book? He's he a just whore. Had a, he just had a chance to explain what he loved about the character, and then he just failed Not, completely. Just nothing there it's just the guy just talks in circles with himself and his audience he he's he has said absolutely nothing in yeah. this two minutes and 28 seconds it's all um, white noise that, yeah i was just gonna say that he hasn't said a fucking word of like coherent 
it's just babbling. He's just babbling like a fucking just idiot. Babbling what it is. Scotch Herbs thinks we're stolen valor here. He says, I'm the one who broke the story. Horseman was all AI art. All right, you're recognized, Scotch Earth. I recognize you. Uh, Red for two says, I can't wait for the reveal of Cowman and Pig Woman. I'd read the shit out of Pig Woman. I'd rape the shit out of... Wait, no. Uh, <laughs> I would make consensual love to Pig Woman. Uh, as Leighton says, what it is, what it is. I don't understand. See, like, all right, hold on. I want to see. Show me, like, the comments. One Cause, way. Because, again, Eric's not going to tell us anything about this character, and everybody's got to pretend that they're, like, fucking in love with it. Let's see. How many views did that video get? Deferring to your employees is probably your most valuable strength. Your most valuable strength is to not be creative. Got it. I'll put that my guy is kind of shitting on him a little bit there. <laughs> Let's yeah. be clear. That is not a compliment. <laughs> Eric, your best strength is not being involved in the creative process of your own comic company. I think this could be my favorite Riververse character. Why? You don't fucking know anything about him other than he's a horse who fights crime. Gives me Nightwing or Batman vibes. No shit. <laughs> no, you don't say, really. Because <laughs> it's I, literally a ripoff uh, of those two things. I am pumped up about this comic. I can't say I'm a fan of the helmet. Same here, man. What is that? Fuck? Don't give a guy a horse helmet. Uh, here's some cool like kind of horse snout. Like he doesn't have like like the horse snout is missing. It's just like a weird bat head. It it doesn't look like a horse at all. So does it's Eric realize this fucking Batman design? That's what it is. I bet you. Here's he here's what I'm wondering. Is. Does Eric realize that like his audience is moronic? So and it's a bunch of guys who like want to make their own crappy comics. So when he doesn't tell them anything about it, they get to endlessly speculate and be like, ooh, if I was doing it, there's definitely some cool concepts that could work with this character. What if Horseman was part of a gang called Horsemen of the Apocalypse? And he gets betrayed or left for dead and hunts them down one by one. And then he becomes an antihero and wants to see Chesimo. Okay, well, yeah, I don't know, man. It, we know nothing about the characters. So you can invent anything you want about it. Oh, it's you want. Why, why, are you, why are you jealous of the Black Stan Lee, Vito? He is very black. And very, yeah. well, it's a no four, four horsemen hey. and apocalypse hasn't been done yet. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> no, it's an old it's, uh, sales gimmick, guys. Uh, the, the less you say, the more the audience uh, builds uh, something impressive in their heads, and the, and look, the more they the want to give their money. Vito. Yeah, well, when he makes his, his audience, like his channel is, uh, he's got to just if you want to post about the Ripiverse, post it to the Ripiverse channel. Because whenever he posts about this comic shit, look, these are worse numbers than I will get if I actually put videos. Oh, my God. His numbers are fucked. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? Uh, hold on. Gaming isn't getting enough 11,000 views. This guy used to be getting like 40,000 views on every video. Am I crazy? Well, how how many nope. views are his lives getting? Uh. He'll, how many people does he have watching live? 8,000, 4,000. 12,000. They're better. The live streams are better than, than the videos. Yeah, but like this is like he's got... I mean, I guess that rip in the... So he's he's doing equal to... A little worse than what Biggest Problem does. Biggest Problem will get like 20, 25,000 views. You know, if he brings on a guy like Critical Drinker, you can get free views that way. So yeah, he's doing good with the live stuff, but I'm surprised his actual videos are like kind of suffering. Uh, Eric July wants to be white... Hi, I'm Eric July. Eric July doesn't know how word bubbles work, apparently. He thinks they point at your armpit for some reason. Uh, here, the word talking. bubble is pointing Fucking at idiot. the guy's eyeball. Uh, Eric, how do you not know how a word bubble works? Point it at the mouth. What is happening? It's the Black Stan Lee. Don't tell him how word bubbles work. It's Come the on. Black Stan Lee. Uh, yeah, his, his numbers are uh, suffering. Okay. They're targeting kids. Oh, of course. The kids. The kids. Uh... You gotta think right. about the children. You gotta think. Well, don't say that on this show. You in trouble. We're not thinking about children <laughs> at all. Watch this if you have. All right, tell me about. Tell me who the horseman is. Eric. The the cover, right? If you if you've watched that or or looked at that, you see there's. You can, it looks like he's he's pretty brutal. He is. <laughs> he ain't. He's he brutal. Ain't, wow. He ain't, uh, he ain't here for the games, bro. That's not his thing. Can he but fly? the artwork is games? killer. 
this project is well along the way with both pencil, ink, and color. Joe Bennett. With, with both idea just, pencil, idea ink, just and got, color. The idea just got, uh, you know, uh, presented. How is it uh, so far in, into the production? Well, because he's lying, but that's fine. He does that a lot. Uh, Chuck Dixon. And this is the first non... Because all the other projects, though I didn't write Alpha Core Yaira, they're based on care. And you didn't write I some, but sure. Characters that I created. And this is the first, the first characters that not the first character that was created that that, that well, let's say that I did create. What do you think? Did he what interrupts he himself so much. <clears throat> I have no he's idea. not saying anything. He, he's interrupting himself. It sounds like one of the guys I meet in politics who aren't involved in politics, but they want to be. So they just talk about the thing in a circle to try to convince you that they know what they're talking about. It's complete horseshit. Eric it's horseman has, shit. It's horseman <laughs> shit. Eric has a uncanny ability to, yeah, just, like, talk endlessly and nothing of value is said. It's fascinating. He is the first character getting his own title you, that you guys know about that's based on... What do you think would be worse? This, is, like, I, like, the fact that he wrote Isom or if it were to come out that he didn't write it? I am... Uh, very Ooh. convinced that there's no way Eric wrote I some by himself. I don't think he has the ability to write. Yeah, well, he, yeah, yeah. It, it would would by evidence of that the... he actually wrote it, John. Well, uh, guys, the telltale sign. That's what I the telltale sign was, "Hey, what's your favorite part of I some?" And then he flips out. Right. That that, I, that was that was it. That was the moment. I suspect he probably got as far as some basic character design. And probably passes it along to somebody that he knows that can write behind the scenes. Um, I don't think that'll probably ever be confirmed or denied. That's the thing. I mean, he's going to take credit for this forever, yeah. <laughs> which is funny because you're taking credit for something that sucks. So I'm fine. With well, that. if it ever came out that he didn't write it, like he would be like blown out. That would be like, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't think he scripted it. I think he wrote the story. He wrote it down like this. Is I what think he wrote it yeah, out and an outline. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I mean by like character design stuff. He probably did the bare basics and then had somebody go over that, and then he can say, "Well, I wrote it," you know. Just uh, starting it off with two weeks ago. Yeah, he merely vanilla it. Oh, so fucking stupid! He, he's you know, like, be careful. I already broke ago. the story yeah. that Eric is botting his YouTube channel. Well, I don't know if uh, he can bot it. Bots cost a lot, so he would be yes, no, money they, away. They don't cost that much, Vito. For YouTube, that, for for a lot of YouTube views. It's He's it's not, not as that expensive. Much. It's not as expensive to do a few thousand as you think. Uh, I've yeah. I've there are people in the political space who do it quite often, and it's pretty cheap. Well, I guess you're right. I'm looking it up. Five thousand views views for twelve bucks. Holy yeah. smokes! What the hell am I going doing with right. my channel, man? Oh, well, because they don't do anything. The only reason to buy views is to show them to other people and impress them. Like yeah, investors, the, you know. That's why political people do it. And the going rate for like uh real like Discord bots, which are the ones that people go for if they're like in the space that are doing that stuff, they're gonna pay anywhere between thirty to forty dollars per one thousand views. Uh, but the reason they pay more for that is because they're real views. Um, they're like they have to actually physically click on the video and watch it. They put them in big Discord farms, and the people on Discord get a kickback for it. It's a whole thing. Uh, where, can, where can somebody sign up for this stuff? Just asking for a friend. Search for YouTube <laughs> bots on Google, and you'll find it pretty quick. It is like yeah. telling when like it's obvious that people are view botting. For instance, my buddy uh, went on a podcast recently. This is my buddy. And I was like, wow, this is like a fancy-looking podcast with a terrible setup. Guys, don't hang a TV above the fucking table for everyone to look at like they're talking to the word of God. It's the most awkward thing in the world. That's Put it at setup. the same head level as you. It's it's a it's a show about three guys looking at my buddy who is Jesus now because he's hanging on the wall across from them. Fuck it. Okay, let's uh, do it. Talking about with knives. Strip. And I was like, oh wow, hey, my buddy's on this podcast. Oh man, 28,000 views. That or 28, yeah, 28,000. That must be pretty good. And then I look at the comments. And the comments are uh, two, and one of them is from me. <laughs> and I'm like, how does a podcast get 28,000 views and it uh, two comments? This is clearly botted. Rumble is full of this. So if you go on Rumble, because Rumble's um, system allows you to just open a tab, and yeah, that tab will count as a view. 
you know, it's uh, in the early. And so, hey, like, hey, Rumble's full of it. It's, Rumble's view count is completely fake. It's well, not, Rumble it, it, also doesn't... So if you click on a stream and then leave it five minutes later, uh, it keeps you as a viewer for, like, the next hour. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Or even if you click off after, like, t t 30 seconds, it still says, no, that guy's still watching, I think. I think you got 10 million people watching the stream. It's like, no, it's a lot of guys <laughs> clicked on, clicked off. I don't even like. Here's the problem with this: is I'm like, there's not even anything to talk about because he doesn't tell us anything. Design it, little little chess pieces. Some people sort of connected the dots. Oh, okay, and I don't want to tell give me about. Too much. Tell me about. Okay, he doesn't want to give too much away. Give anything away. Give me anything, Eric. Here. Reading it, amazing script. Amazing. And script. I don't want to give too much away, but give me anything. This character is um what? is awesome. I love the design. He's I love the design. awesome. Awesome. That's it. That's all you're gonna Come give on. your fucking audience. I don't want to give too much away, but. Guys, I got something I got to tell you. He's awesome. What the fuck? This Talk is why he made 3.4 million and you only made 80,000. You gave Yeah, cuz yeah, you're right. Design of the character yeah, that Joe is all Joe. This wasn't a like Marcos uh like myself and Marcos kind of design. No, this is all Joe that designed a little little chess piece that some people sort of connected the dots on that little logo there. It some people connected the dots on a on a knight chess piece of a horse. They were able to figure out that was a horse. Your audience is so smart, Eric. I can't believe they were able to figure that out. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Look? A horse emblem. Oh, because he's the horse man. You know, oh, when, this could one be time, awesome. I remember when I was a kid and I looked at Batman's chest and I said, Why is there a big bat on his chest? And I said, Oh, because he's Batman. I get it. Why does Superman have an S on his chest? Oh my God! What does he play chess? Is he a master? Is it Bobby? No, Fisher there's going to be an organization, that? Vito. Don't you realize that he's the knight for the organization? This is how oh, I feel me, anytime which is I listen. Totally not the DC comic. Yeah, anytime I listen to Eric I talk, this is how I feel. Ah, your head's ready to explode. trying to produce <laughs> the, the best, the most. Like I don't know, it's following all the rules, and it's all about just the literature and that aspect. It's about. Uh, critics and all that. It, it's like not about that. It's like nerd culture is about fun at the end of the day. And sometimes that fun, there's disagreements and chatter and who is the most powerful and things that maybe in retrospect people say super killer is the most powerful. Just want to put that out there. Okay. Stupid conversation. But that used to be what this is about. And when we first like showed everybody the character, it was awesome to see the theories that floated around almost immediately. Is it because awesome you gave nobody the any theories? info? What is this? <laughs> You you don't get it, do you, Vito? It's awesome to see the theories because we can steal those and use them as ideas because all we go. had was the character. He's like, what do you think this character is about? Like, I am uh... genuinely amazed sometimes by this dude's delusions because that is what that is. That's the guy, no, I gave you all the info you need. Everybody's out there making it. You said nothing about the character. The dick went on that stream, the first stream where they met. The biggest question he was asking him was, what the fuck does this guy even do? <laughs> like, <laughs> and it's just insane to me to see this is like, he just keeps with this line of, well, uh, I love seeing everybody talk about the characters. Like, yeah, because you gave nobody anybody to, there's nothing to talk about. They're just theories. Well, he gets a horse. <laughs> he gets a horse. He's going to get a, he's going to get a, uh, and then his a horse gets a utility that belt. looks like a horse. That'll be exciting. Everybody likes that. Uh, all right, look. Here's what you need to know about Horseman is that we don't know anything about fucking Horseman. Not if it makes any sense. Let's talk about my new Lollicon comic, uh, <laughs> Super Killer. I love this. Uh, this is clearly, as, as Wiggle and other members of the CG slums are currently saying, that this... Uh, image that I paid a nice Japanese. I paid an old Japanese man. He's he was dying in a hut. Couldn't afford his rice. Couldn't afford his sushi. <laughs> and I reached well, out. Already name? sold his Shut three up. daughters into. Sex he already slavery. sold his daughter. Exactly. They're working <laughs> in a harem already. And I went to this uh, poor old Japanese man. I said, "Sir, I would like to pay you to make a cover for my comic book Super Killer." And because you are a master of Japanese horror manga featuring women horror being manga. attacked by... Yeah, horror manga. That's all of Toshio Maeda's shit. It's all fucking demons and shit. The Legend of the Overfiend. Uh, I said, why don't you draw my character in a Japanese Sailor Moon-style outfit being attacked by one of your famous 
demon type creatures. Uh, and then he drew that, and I'm like, where's the fucking tentacles, buddy? And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he added the tentacles after. So uh, this is my cover, and it's awesome. And, Wasn't the uh, original version worse, you said? Uh, the well, actual... I, seem, I seem to remember that being said, yes. Well, uh, there were some early sketches, and I said, listen, man, like, I kind of want to, you know, sell this, and I'm worried if I go to, you know, like, executives, they're going to go, Listen, we can excuse a lot, but why is one of your covers a girl being split open by a tentacle monster? You know? <laughs> so gonna... this was the trade-off. <laughs> this is the trade-off. Yeah. I'll, I'll also like, say this. Either death uh, or rape. Which one? I wasn't sure what Indiegogo allows. So uh can I zoom in here? So I actually this is actually an edit job. And the actual cover you get, her panties are a little more detailed. Uh, but it's still it's still she's wearing like lacier underwear. I was like, eh, I'll just cover it up a little bit. Anyway. So I got this great cover. It is an adult character because I find adult women sexy. And uh, she's got nice... That's not uh, the most forced thing I've ever heard, Vito, out of your mouth. Yeah, uh, you're right. It's forced. <laughs> my God. Yeah, you, that was forced. Vito's set bursts in the flames behind him. <laughs> if I wanted a lolly cover, I would have hired a lolly guy. This is not a lolly guy. It's Maida. Look, he has a fucking Supreme collaboration. You think uh, Supreme, the brand... Is uh selling Didn't lolly they work with Kanye West? That's right. They're racist, but they're not uh they're not lollies. That's different. Here, hold on. Uh isn't that the diner girl? It is. Yes. Look, he had a he had a fucking collaboration with Supreme. And this is probably this is worse than what I was selling here. You can see a, a titty and then uh another titty. Guy's sticking his hand in a girl's pants. All right, if Supreme can sell this fucking merchandise. You guys know Supreme, the brand, right? They're like a fucking global brand with millions of dollars. All right. <laughs> if they're allowed to hire Maida, why am I not allowed to hire Maida? It's the same shit. So I've had all week, uh, these morons are going at me and they're saying, oh, look, Vito put a, I don't know. This is a 12 year old. They're saying, look at this lolly con here. How old is this character? Can can twenty? She's a college dropout. Like she's in like I, I don't have an exact age, but in the but script, how old is the monster Vito? That looks like a yeah, exactly. Yeah, the monster, monster, that monster is thirteen years the old. Right? The monster is fourteen. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. Be the clear. monster is <laughs> underage. Okay, so uh, and here's one guy who's just the big. I honestly, at this point. I think Lunga oh, I is saw like, this idiot. Oh, this guy's Lunga a pedophile. So stupid <laughs> that I don't know how he gets He's out of bed. He's not a pedophile. Morning. He's 100% a, a pedophile. He was saying stop really Stop making weird that shit stuff. up, man. Come on. <laughs> what, he, what? He's doing it to Vito. Why, what? He's not. Look, you know what's look. the worst part about Vito being called a pedophile? The worst part is what is I the worst it, part? Throw, I get thrown at me as, as some kind of criticism. I'll go, hey, I don't I don't believe you. And I, I think you're wrong. To be like, well, you hang around with Vito. He's you hang out with Vito, but, so you're yeah. always wrong. Exactly. Guys, we're, we're forming our own community. All right. So here's Lunga not knowing what Lolly is. Uh, guys. Uh, I don't. Do I have to say it? Lolly is like, like young anime kids, and it's not necessarily like sexual. Like, uh, what would be like a show? Well, like Sailor Moon's sister is like a lolly, you know, Mini Moon or whatever. Okay, but it's Wait not teenagers, and it's not adult women. Uh, Sailor, the little one. What's her name? Yeah, here. Sailor Chibi Moon. Copy. Oh, my God. Copy. Well, the, the whole Chibi style is uh, like lolly little mini. If movie. my character looked like this, you could. Yes, I get it. It would be weird to have a tentacle monster attacking her and I would be uncomfortable with it. And I wouldn't do that. OK, but Sailor Moon, my God, as I always say, do you think the bare naked ladies are pedophiles? Because they said I like the boom Sailor Moon babes that make me feel the wrong thing. No. We get it. They're drawn like adult women. Even if they're supposed to be teenagers in the show, they have like fucking thigh gaps and giant legs and big tits. Okay, so here's Lunga being retarded. Here, uh, he's mad at me because I said, is it correct to say Sailor Moon is a lolly? I'm being attacked by a guy named Wiggle. Who I said, oh, isn't think... that? That's the dude who came in in the costume who said the F word last night, right? Yes. Uh, uh, he wears like okay. a gorilla okay. mask. That guy's dumb. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he said, oh, Vito's comic is lolly. Uh, everyone needs to disassociate with Vito because he's making uh, hentai, whatever. And I said, what do, you, what do you think lolly is? Do you think Sailor Moon is lolly? He said, yes. And I'm like, okay, well, it's not. 
uh, it's again. So here's Longa explaining the difference between Lolly and Lollycon, which is just completely incorrect. Look at these side by side. I will expound. All right. First of all, if you're upset by the fact, I, mean, I, I really have to nail this home. If you want me to not put ladies getting their clothes ripped off by tentacle monsters, stop buying my comic books. I'm going to do it forever. It's it's hilarious. The Japanese are weird, fucked up perverts who make fucking ancient demon monsters that uh, undress women and have their way with them. And I think that's real funny. OK, we'll, we'll, art we'll, hold, hold, hold on one second, Vito. Yeah, real, real quick. I have yeah. to stress this point because if Lunga thinks this is Lolly, why the fuck is he putting it on his Twitter? Yeah, why is he? I thought it? something was Lolly. See, I good, good point. I well, we're gonna take a look at some of Lunga's art in a second because Lunga genuinely is insane to me. Uh, insane to me. Lolly, by definition, is the depiction of young girls in anime manga. Young girls, yes, like under ten. Like a Lolly is like a prepubescent child. It is not a teenager. This means any wholesome slice of life anime with teenage girls is lolly. So Archie Comics is lolly, no, according to okay. Lunga the Genius. Dora, Dora the Explorer Jesus would Christ. be lolly. Dora the Explorer would be right lolly. about the sky. <laughs> uh, there's also a lot of panty shots because the Japanese have a huge panty fetish. I have no fucking idea. That has nothing to do with that. anything, though. It's completely irrelevant. This is Lunga who yeah. just like talks. Because he thinks it makes him sound smart when he just says a bunch of dumb. Well, I actually know in Japanese culture. Okay, is Sailor Moon sexualized? Uh, the actual cartoon, no. I think after the fact, yes. But Sailor Moon was made for like teenage girls in Japan. It was not made. And, for and men. he's wrong about the schoolgirl uniform. That, that's not the standard. Uh, that that was an old style uh, uniform. The sailor yeah. style from, uh, I think it was even before Sailor Moon was like around. Like they stopped using that already. Yeah, they don't wear those those uh, outfits anymore. By strict definition, Sailor Moon is Lolly. Completely incorrect. Again, Lolly does not involve teenagers. It just doesn't, and it never will. Uh, let's see. Uh, the disgusting shit people. Blah blah blah. Vito's cover is Lolly. Oh my god. So there oh, you go. If he says your cover about. is that. He he's basically saying your your cover is CP. And then he shared it on Twitter. How he says it's not because she has big boobs. Lunga, it's not just her boobs. It's the fact that my character is an adult. Okay. You can, like, even if my script leaked, it says, okay, she dropped out of college. She's 25. She's working in a diner. This is an adult woman, you fucking moron. Okay. It's an adult woman with a big, look at the size of this tent. You know, you know what you need to do, Vito? Look Sell at the this size. to everyone. Sell this to everyone and then wait like a week and go, by the way, now she's 16. I changed it. Now she's 16. <laughs> now she's 16. You guys lose. Yeah, lose. Well, I was wondering. I mean, basically what these guys are saying she's is. She's three. I could, Tell everyone she's three, Vito. If Look, I sold Lunga, uh, you know, a Playboy magazine, but on every on every page I wrote, actually, she's 12, pointing at the naked girl. He would argue that that's child pornography now. No, it's what they if if they have an adult body, they're an uh, adult. There's no kids with adult bodies. Okay, uh, whatever. <laughs> this is so bizarre. Twenty five here. Someone points it out. A twenty five year old with knockers. Boom. Fourteen year old child, small bubba. Yeah. Okay. First of all, these are both different because she even does have bigger boobs than fucking Sailor Moon. So they're not even comparable in that way anyway. But Sailor Moon is also not lolly. This is all fucking nuts, man. Uh, there we go. And uh, <laughs> if, if Lolly's a problem, then why was, you know, uh, what's his name okay with it? Osama. Osama liked it. Uh, why even bother responding to these handicapped people? Because they're fucking... Okay, let's look at uh, Lunga's fucking Lolly character. Because Lolly, uh, Lunga's character is actually looks way more than like Lolly than my fucking character. So here's why Lunga's insane. He has a character called Isadora. Uh, what is this character? She's an ancient wizard. She's a 24 year old woman who became immortal. Okay. And he said, my artist sent me this. This is by George uh, G prime. Who's doing ghost of the badlands right now. Guys, when you look at this, do you think, Oh my God, this is lolly. This is a, this is sexualizing an underage an child. Woman. Looks like a woman. 19. Wait, is that Isadora? That's supposed to yeah. be. That was the original sketch for Isadora. Wow. And, and he's saying that's what, he looks what George made. And he's saying look he good. looked at this and he freaked out because Lunga, who, who protects children so much, he said, oh, my God, he drew an eight year old. And you're like, what the fuck? What are you what? talking about? He's going. He said this is too young. He said she looks like a little kid. These are the same like, people that are fucking saying like 
you know, stop desexualizing every everybody in comics. Bro, and... that is it is creepy to look at this picture of what is clearly like a grown that's woman you, with you developed see features. Eight year olds like this. That's what that means. Yes, dude. I like honestly, if someone told me, oh man, this is just like looking at like a little kid, I'd go, What the fuck what are the you fuck? talking about? What are you talking that about? That is so creepy that you just fucking said just, that. Let's go to jail, that right to jail. You this should go true. to honestly, Lunga. Like when you see kids walking around, is this what you see? You see ladies with big tits what are you fucking crazy and then he said i hired a different guy to draw her looking older this looks like a kid you fucking idiot that you looks reverse. way younger this yeah. looks way younger rounded her head... face yes fat... this I is a you, the guy that drew this one is a pedophile this looks like a 15 i have the same power and, you know yeah, what? I'm, as, as I'm thinking 14 yeah. 15 on that one bro again it's the heads you got one two three four like she's short then she looks like she's five foot nothing. Well, well, she could be a short woman, but just the, the features on her face. She's got that kid face. The you know, rounded like kid face. Yeah. It's not. Look, it's got the chubby cheeks. See how the cheeks bulge out? Hold on. See how the it's cheeks are going down and then out, down and then out a little bit? Yeah, baby fat. Exactly. She's got a fat little kid face because uh, Longa made a lolly comic and he's in denial for some fucking reason. Oh, that's and this that looks worse than what you had. Oh, this, yeah, is, that's way this, worse. this is blowing my mind because share my screen. I did work for Lunga's campaign. Hold on, I let did, me. Uh, I, I did an art print. And the, yes, um, okay, here we go. And this is the art print. That's a grown woman right there. Why yeah. does he have her looking like a kid in his other fucking ones? <laughs> I have no idea. I... That's a gr okay. That is obviously an adult woman. Okay, yeah. this is. Uh, a little kid wearing bondage. That looks uh, like a outfit. flashback of her being younger. Yeah, this looks yeah. like when she first got kidnapped and forced to be a rape slave. Yeah. Uh, and the Lunga, <laughs> this looks w okay. And then compare it to the thing he's calling fuck. Okay, which is worse? My character's got huge fucking chubby uh boobs and a big old thigh. Look at the size of these fucking <clears throat> legs. Okay, this is a lady who eats. Eats a cheeseburger every now and again. And then this little jailbait fucking waifu 15-year-old. That long is going, yeah, that's a that's a fully developed woman right there with her chubby baby fat uh, face. What is going on? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> Just Jason Long. Is... Made me laugh. <laughs> Jason Long says what? Uh, I've seen a bunch of tweets. We got a bunch Her of people. first here is the great sleeve. <laughs> Her first freshman year is great. Yeah, exactly. Grape slave, slave you. Uh, for Longa's look, see Vito, you should be more like me with my mature adult characters that look like children wearing the fucking slave Leia outfit. It looks like uh, she's wearing the slave Leia outfit as a fourteen. Also, what's up with that boot on on the right? That's all fucked up. Everything this about everything about just terrible art. Lunga is the stupidest person I've ever met in my life. Cool, she's got too, a, thank you all for not killing yourselves. Foot. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like that club foot on the right. Oh, yeah, you're right. That uh yeah, you're right. That's weird. Uh Coop says Lolly talks like Sisyphus, but Vito is the boulder. That is correct. <laughs> uh so right now, look, I don't, I don't, I don't get what's going on. Is uh I want to touch on this real quick. I think I, I don't even know if I can. No, I can't look at Josh's tweets because uh I'm blocked. Uh, although I'll probably have my own tweets. So right now, uh, Kiwi Farms, Josh, you're talking about? Yeah, Kiwi Farms, Josh. So I for can... those of you who didn't hear the script to my comic, somebody found an old copy of it. And uh, I'll be honest, man, there's some stiff stuff in that first script where I go, yeah, that was bad. Like that was kind of placeholder. I was like, well, I'll go back and make it less cringy later, you know. And uh, I did go back and make it less cringy later. But obviously not before somebody made a copy of it. Vito, so if people you're, are, if you're moving on to another uh, topic, I I, I got to you got to get out. Yeah, all I right, gotta man. Run. Yeah, follow well, me on uh, Twitter, JPN Show. Thank you all. Nice meeting you all and seeing you all again. Leighton, nice meeting you and uh, George. Nice meeting you and likewise. Tony, top loaded. You guys have a good night. Bye bye. Take right, it easy, Thanks for coming by. If anybody Thank else you. needs to dick out or uh, uh, duck out, dick out. Uh, let me know. Dick, how much longer are you going to be in? Uh, maybe like another 20 minutes, 30 minutes. 
Uh, I did want to mention, guys, don't forget, if your comics don't have pedo content in them, Matt has given us all permission to use his 100% uh, pedo-free badge. What's it with the apostrophe? <laughs> I don't know. I guess because he knows he's shortened pedophile, but he wants to make sure everyone else knows he... like because other. But what if it's short for, like, pedometer? It could be anything. Why don't you put pedophile right on the book? But with, with the apostrophe, it looks like 100% pedo-free content. 100% pedo... Free content. Uh, okay, so I do have this. So here's the stupidest thing. We already talked about this on Biggest Problem, but I feel like we got to talk about it again. Noel doesn't understand. Noel, who runs Kiwi Farms, is uh, genuinely mentally handicapped. Uh, he needs a girlfriend because she might be able to like just get his mind off all this insane shit he thinks about all the time, all these crazy conspiracy theories. But uh, he can't get one because he's insane. So Noel goes, uh, has a copy of my script, and here's what Noel thinks the problem is, okay, with my script. Vito spent years painstakingly going over every page of Riververse Comics to try and find any art that might be a third-party asset. Guys, uh, in the chat. I remember that. The, yeah. Do you remember? Oh, hold on. I do have to. I have somebody who can weigh in here. Is she ready? Give me a thumbs up. Yeah, all right, guys. Welcome to the stage. With that big old dump truck ass, it's rogue. Oh, hi. I'm a little bit of a rogue. Stand up, turn around real quick. Oh, yeah. Oops, I tripped. I fell. Oh, no. How I horrible. forgot my jacket. You your jam. Well, it looks good without it. Uh, did you see the cool Bone Claw Rogue statue? We gotta get you one of those, uh, man. Uh, I have not seen it, but that sounds cool. That sounds pretty rad. Reckon asks, "Is that the PKA girl?" Yes, you're the PKA girl now, man. Awesome. And says, "Okay, I came." Nice. <laughs> Although some people are saying that the uniboob is real, but what are you gonna do? You can't. You get the uniboob when you wear that thing. We were arguing about the uniboob earlier. Oh, you can't yeah. avoid it. I'm wearing a bra. It yeah. kind of puts my tits together. It makes it look like one big old tit. You can't really you can't, avoid you, it. You can't really. You know, once it. you said tit, I stopped listening and I just started focusing on tits. One <laughs> big tit. I think the exactly. one big tit is uh, that's kind of sexy. Everybody likes that. Well, yeah, man, we're talking about uh, our good friend Null, a uh, professional comic critic. He knows everything about the comic book industry. A very smart guy. This is a guy who's read Isom. He's read Isom too. Uh, he's read all the comics. Uh, says, I spent years painstakingly going over every page of Ripperverse comics. Now, guys, do we all remember when I uh, constantly searched for 3D assets and kept posting about them? Remember that? And, and took years to do so? Yeah, I spent years on this comic that came out like one year ago. And I also never found a single 3D asset from it. But uh, apparently, I just bad at your job. Apparently, yes, I'm very bad. Uh, but as a script writer, guys, let's be clear: I don't have enough confidence in my own writing to describe scenes or people myself using references without license. You know what? Actually, no. Uh, streamed about this. So why don't we just watch his uh, stream real quick? Uh, did you guys see that? No. No, talking about my comic book. This is great. No, I, I wish I wish more people would make videos about my comic book. Honestly, okay, yeah, no, he has a he has a show called Mad at the Internet, so he's gonna explain to us everything that's wrong. I'm gonna with uh with this comic, I guess. Hold on, is this up? Yes. All right, this is no on Mad at the Internet. Oh no, this is from twenty. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, no, this is correct. All right. I'm going to be mercifully short with this, I think. I haven't really read Mercifully it yet, short. Um, but I will one day. Uh, Vito. Just he says, oh, okay, first of all, he says he's going to read it one day, but now he's saying, oh, I'm not going to, I don't want to review it anymore. Why not? No. I thought you were going to review the, the comic. What happened? This Waldy, who called himself a pedophile and is friends with pedophile Max Carson since high school. Um, Incorrect. I was not friends with Max Carson in high school, but I did go to high school with Max Carson. Uh, well, well, uh, why did you stop? Why did you start with the not in the high school part? You should have started with the not a pedophile part, and then 
clarified well, friends, I think. Yeah, he's not a pedophile. I think that part is like inferred, but uh it is provable that we were not friends. We're friends now. I like the guy. I, I'll just say you seem more upset by, by him being block. wrong about when you met Max Carson than him. Not being well, pedophile. how many times can I say how many times I'm not can he be called Mr. that girl is not a pedophile? Yeah. I think that is like a thing you can just default assume I've said. Uh, I'm just clearing up some misinformation. You got some, like, you got some new faggot. things. I'm just uh, for making being black and making a comic that he did not authorize. Yes, I uh, need to leave. Saying, you know uh, I'm gonna make my own Eric comic Lyle alone. With blackjack and hookers. They're all so running with it. that as their theory, too. By the way, that it has something to do with Eric July being black. Uh, I saw Medicare saying the same shit. The PPP and all those tards over there on that stream were talking the same way. It seems like they've all got that in their head that if they run with that as their sort of attack, that it's going to pick up Twitter's steam or something. I don't know why. Well, they they're hold up. on. Uh, Nobody's they're right. brought up. No, 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 no. Hold on. They're right. I hate black people. So, well, I mean, that's but that's but you be right. OK, I, <laughs> I saw a black guy making a comic and I said, I can't I can't allow that. We, we got to shut that down. And is that uh, what that happened is, to Dwayne McDuffie? I that's what happened. Dwayne, I took down Dwayne McDuffie as well. I said, I got to stop this black man from making comic books. OK, so 100 percent. Please tell everyone the reason that I'm attacking Eric July is because I'm racist. It makes perfect sense. Tell everyone. I went to uh, high school with Vito, and that is 100% true. I I've met black people. Previous... I like some of them, but I, them making comics, I can't, I'm not allowed. No, mm -hmm. not at all. I retract I, my previous statement. It's because he's black. I like Static <laughs> Shock. What was the name of the guy who made Static Shock? Because he's dead Gosh. now. Static Shock is cool. Have you seen the new uh, design for Static Shock? No. It's just called Static now. Static Shock new design. Hold on. I want to show you. That. I don't know if they're actually using this design, but it's pretty fucking badass. Oh, come on. Don't fucking paywall it. Static Shock. He is Static Shock. He's a cool black guy. Yeah, have you guys seen this? Uh, his name was always Static. Static Shock's the name of the cartoon. The character I know. But I, I thought is that. Dwayne McDuffie. So is Dwayne McDuffie the same guy who died? All right. Yes. That's why I, Jesus. Jesus. I thought it were two different. You're guys. a comic book guy, a fake nerd. I thought guy. Dwayne McDuffie was still alive and he was a different guy. I thought it was two different guys. Anyway, this is pretty cool. I like his jacket and shit. That is a pretty uh, cool jacket. Yeah. I don't know about this scooped helmet that becomes a baseball hat. It's a bat baseball hat uh hood. But you know what? It's it's kind of cool. I'll for I'll, I'll accept it regardless. All right, so we're watching like Noel. That one. We're watching Noel. Tell me why I'm racist. And he begged for money. Right. He was about sixty thousand. Can you guys hear this? The audio is kind of low. It's, it's a, as it's high a as it goes. Low. Sadly, man. Yeah. Someone in the back, Vito. Oh, I have somebody in the back room. Oh, hey, it's Richard, another one of our comic racists. <laughs> Welcome to the racist comic hour, Richard. Where we stream. try to destroy a black man's business. What a way to end end, end February. Let's do this. <laughs> In honor of Black History Month, we're trying to. I have not even been talking about Eric July. I mean, we talked about him here today, but it's like at this point, I'm just done. It's like he's such a moron. I'll wait for his next comic and make fun of that. Dollars to start a comic book called Super Killer. I, I'm sorry to keep pausing it, but him saying that my comic is a response to Eric July, just the timeline is completely wrong. I started yeah. talking about this comic what before I e even really knew who Eric July was. Uh, and I have sketches from high school of me planning for this comic, so whatever. Uh, which would be so his that to show the world that really he has writing chops. He loves comics. It's his lifelong passion. And I don't love comics. I'll tell you that right now. I love some comics. Okay. That's another thing. Everyone's going like, they're like, oh, Vito thinks he's like more of a comic buff. than No, Eric's probably read more superhero stuff than me. I'm not into superhero stuff. Uh, I'm into like, uh, a lot of manga. I, you know, I like All Star <laughs> Superman. I own that. Planetary, Transmetropolitan, Ex Machina. Uh, you know, there was a period of time where I was reading the Marvel and DC stuff. Planet Hulk, Old Man Logan, Red Sun. I liked all the Elseworlds stuff. I'm very big on the Elseworlds stuff. Kind of informs my universe, right? Where it's like interesting takes on stuff. Earth X. Oh, I didn't like Earth X. Kingdom Comes, okay. But uh, yeah, I'm not here to. I don't know. And he I don't definitely even know what has what it takes to be a comic book writer. 
could challenge a hack fraud like Eric July. Super Killer is not a challenge to Eric July. It is completely independent. Okay. Well, he was asking for some creative input on his writing on a stream recently. And he decided I'll pull up the script and I'll sk- uh, go. Th- okay. So Josh accused me of leaking the script on purpose, even though here he admits that that's not what happened. Uh, and then what is he going to hear? He's going to talk about what's wrong with it. So what's wrong with it, Josh? It's a cliffhanger. I suppose uh, apparently comic books be oh, here. because of okay. how he's skinny and not a fat, disgusting piece of shit slob. So he thinks super killer is a stand in for me. So I'm super killer. Uh, this is supposed to be like Vito self insert. I thought the diner owner. Let's just read the. I'm very clear. If any character is a self insert, it's the girl, right? Like, none of them are really supposed to be self inserts, but like the closest one would be the girl. Uh, But it's really not a self insert at all. I mean, all the characters have very different things. I I personally have not looked at any spoiler stuff for your comic yet, so... Well, I guess, yeah, I don't want to spoil it, but, like, okay. I mean, this is not, like, a huge spoiler. Let's see. Ending. Uh, spoiler alert. Snape kills Dumbledore. It's a cliffhanger. I suppose... <laughs> uh, apparently, comic books end on cliffhangers. Hangers. You gotta get people... So he thinks the book ends on a cliffhanger. It doesn't. Uh, he doesn't know what a cliffhanger is. Look, I'll skip over it, but basically... So here's what's happening. The comic's coming out. It's going to be great. Uh, is it coming out as fast as everybody wants? No. And you can shit on me for that all you want. That's fine. I'll take it. Uh, shit on my face. I get it. Mint, I want you to shit on my face for being slow with Super Killer. All right? Uh, you are being slow with Super Killer. Uh, I'll verbally shit you, but I won't physically <laughs> shit on your face. All right, Mint Salad is verbally shit <laughs> in my mouth. You heard it here first. Very exciting stuff. Uh, I think it's a fun comic. Uh, and we're going to have a lot of fun with it. So one of the things they're coming at me at is there's a scene in the script where basically uh, Super Killer is in the park. A character... It, it looks like... You remember the Simpsons episode where, where Homer tries to grab a gummy candy off a lady's ass and she thinks he's trying to grab her ass and calls him a pervert and the you know gets labeled like a sexual predator or whatever great episode great episode. okay at least somebody remembers it so there's like a little joke where like something happens and it looks like he's doing something sexual so someone yells at him uh that's the cliffhanger Noah's, they were talking about Vito. it's not a cliffhanger <laughs> no it's basically trying to happened. say so now I have people going, oh, my God, did you hear Vito's comic has rape in it? And I'm like, no, it doesn't have fucking rape in it. Also, also yes. wasn't she under, under yes. age? Yes. To, to... Refund. I did hear that, that uh, criticism. Who's the underage? Girl, they said that the girl at the end was underage or something. That's why uh, you're a pedophile. Oh, I have no, I haven't heard that. No, uh, they, the they girl at the, the end. License. It, it's <laughs> the lady on the cover with the big boobs. All right, yeah, so here they're, knows... they're saying because of the, the situation. I don't want to give the spoilers, but because of the situation yeah. at the end, how they end up, they're like, oh, that's that's because she's underage and that's Vito's internalized. That's what pedophilia. they were, yeah, trying to say. They were trying to say a grown woman being naked is the same as pedophilia because these people are insane. So Null's going to claim because Null has never written anything in his life. He has never worked with any artists and he will never create anything of worth other than a stupid uh, website for autistic people to jerk each other off. He's going to talk about how my script is bad for the dumbest reason I've ever heard in my life. Let's see if it's here. So that, that's the how, that's how it ends. Uh, Snape killed Dumbledore. And then let's go back Good to the, the first page. Or this is the page okay. two. So this is where Beck is introduced. And I clipped, the, I, um, clipped these out just because it's like everything in this is supposed to be a parody. It's a work of satire. So there's like... What, what do you mean it's supposed to be a parody? <laughs> what is it? What is it? What is her being a waitress a parody of? No. Waitresses. What are you talking about? It's supposed to be all these uh, family guy, like, like references to fucking everything. Like, what are, what do you, <laughs> what? This like, yes, like the time that, that, um, that the Simpsons did this thing. So he has like an image because he can't explain these references in, in, in like a rational way. So he just includes like a screenshot of the Simpsons. In this one, he's trying to explain what a neat bedroom looks like. So he just includes a shot of some anime. Uh, if you know what anime this is, please take a gun and shoot yourself. In- okay. So originally, and honest, actually, this panel is no longer in the comic, but originally I was going to show like how she's living and I was going to show she's living in like 
a shitty like anime nerds apartment like just dirty clothes everywhere and you know like leftover food containers just to show that she's like kind of down on her luck and like kind of just coasting through life living a shitty life again i don't have this scene in the comic anymore i changed it to something else but i was like and what i'm you know picturing is again like somebody in front of their tv playing like stupid old video games like she's just like a disheveled shitty nerd and so i sent my artist i'm like here's like kind of what i'm thinking like here's here's some ideas for shit you could put in the background that would be on theme right so no hold argument. on yeah go ahead L let me get this straight so you have all these words to describe what you're thinking. This is the all scene should, should look right like. Here. Yes. Right. And yes. then to top it all off, you gave the artist like what you're envisioning by including a photo. Correct. Yes. So not only. And he's, he's saying, knocking you for that. He's saying Vito can't even describe what he wants in the scene when right They're below it is is a i'll go look i still have that version of the script here i'll read you the fucking oh, I can, can i not get the docs right now uh i should be able to bring it up uh google docs i i think and, and i'm not an expert on the type of autism Noel has but i think that he literally thinks that you want the artist to draw this exact image and that's the issue he's having dude it's crazy yeah that's like clearly okay here uh back uh, this is a scene from her disheveled lifestyle. Empty food containers and dirty laundry are scattered around. A cheap fan circulates air. Around her are haphazard piles of comic books, manga, and video games. Posters of superheroes on the wall. She eats a bowl of cereal watching old cartoons and looking bored. Uh, perhaps for fan service, maybe she's just in her panties and like a dirty t-shirt. So that was my description. And I said, and just to, you know, make it clear, it's a dirty, shitty, small, cramped apartment. I'll also, on top of that, to make sure this is the best possible comic it can be, give my artist a simple amount of reference material. And Null's going, can you believe you had to give him an image to work off of? I'm like, I'm just, it's just a little helpful thing. It's like, you know what? I think it would help if I show up. This is called reference material. Every, uh, as, as Mark Brooks, fucking DC and Marvel writer, responded to this thread, he says, every single writer I work with does this. It's so insanely common that anyone criticizing it is genuinely retarded. In the head, I, I Mark, did that's not this. Mark's words; those are my words. But I yeah, did this ahead. with the artist that did the the channel art for for my channel. You send him. Is it like, mm. bro? If you're making a move, if you're making anything, okay, you go when someone goes, "Hey, I want a new uh, channel banner for my YouTube," and the artist goes, "Okay, well, what do you want it to look like?" And you go, uh, "Well, here's some I like, so kind of like one of these." This is how you communicate to an artist. You don't just type it out. Like you provide them. Do you know how many like sketches? The better you, you the better you, you show them your vision, the better your your art's gonna come out, correct? I mean, bro, it, shouldn't it be common sense? If 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 the bullet points are conveying a a uh a topic to be added to the overall picture, he could just use that as a as a checklist to check off the uh information. But I'm saying, would it ever be, like, bad to send someone reference material? No, absolutely not. Reference material is uh, it's a tried and true You're uh, supposed to thing. do that. Yes. Yeah. Hollywood does that. Uh, they do uh, uh, what they call fake trailers to sell a project all the time. I mean, not only that. And not but not like, only that, but, like, it, it, I think it's unprofessional. Not even just, like, I'm sure in the comic book sphere, the... the any entertainment sphere but just like even doing like channel logo stuff whatever artist you're dealing with you don't want to say like you, you know uh, have them pull the 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 ideas from you and they're gonna have to keep redrawing shit and doing it over and over again and they're not gonna want to work with uh with you anymore you know because like well tell me what you want you know to go a What's step further and they're going they're going i can't believe Vito would uh, give his artist Russell material Guys, every single page of the comic is storyboarded. That's it. Oh, okay. dude, so you're sitting on I'm, a gold mine. I'm not just fucking sending him. Not only does he have a complete script with reference material, but he has like uh, layouts I've sent him and been like, okay, well, this is what I'm thinking for this page. You know, do a parallel really publishing uh, this. 
Dude, I have a complete. Sense. You can read the entire comic right now just in storyboards. Like it exists. Wow. George is yeah. always trying to get people to sell their storyboards in, in a separate book. Yeah. Well, I don't know if I want to do that, but okay. Well, uh, then give it to me. I'll package it up. Holy smokes! This is gold. I mean, I'll sell it for you. It's kind of cool. I mean, look, you can see this, and this was my, you know, storyboard. And then, real quick, I'll go to the the final I'll version. Put, I'll even put fake uh, oh. notes on the side. Uh, you know, I was in the bathroom. I've thought about studio. like when the book's out, like showing people, hey, this is my process, so I can show them exactly. All right, so you see this, and I'll go through it. This is like an old timey page. Superman comes in. Punches a guy, uh, whatever, and then look at how he takes it, and this is what we uh, end up with. It's awesome. It's like it's a collaborative process. He cleans it up and he adds his own flair to it. Uh, and Null's going, I can't believe Vito is providing his artist with reference material. Here he complains about the fact that I sent him a picture of a girl in a diner. And Let's then see. in uh, flipping back to Beck, he just picks like a random picture of this. And then what's really weird is that this picture of the of the diner woman is completely and totally not a representation of. Uh... Yes, no, I didn't tell him <laughs> make her look like this diner woman. This was because I specifically wanted her to be wearing a specific type of outfit. Yeah. Okay? Why don't you explain that your artist isn't American, so he wouldn't get American references. Like exactly, that. he goes. Oh, who doesn't know what a diner looks like? And I'm like, my artist is in Mexico. I don't know how many American diners they have in Mexico, like 50 He would have drew it with a sombrero on if he just said draw a diner lady. Right. So I was like, just just to make sure that he gets it right and he doesn't pick like an outfit. I, okay. Because like if I had said, just draw a diner waitress in a diner uniform, he might have drawn this fucking striped monstrosity that I don't want. Okay, I wanted a very particular diner outfit. But instead, you so obviously ripped off uh, Sarah Connor from The Terminator. I can't believe you did that. I can't, yeah. He's like, why? He goes, well, she doesn't even look like the character. Yeah, because he has... uh, This guy drives me fucking insane. (laughs) She doesn't even look like the character. No, hold the... Where is it? I'm going through my art folders here. No, we know what the character looks like. You know why? Because we have uh complete we have this this exists the artist already has what the character looks like so i don't have to tell him what she looks like i don't have to give him an image of what she looks like but if i want her drawn in a very specific outfit i have to give him a picture of that outfit you fucking moron (laughs) how else what am i gonna say how would it be better if i said oh fuck okay so it's got like a skirt but it's like a mid half skirt, but then there's a skirt under it and it's got three buttons and a name tag on the right breast. Why don't I just show him a fucking picture of it? No, you fucking moron. Vito, Vito, do you he wanted you to dress up. This? What's that? Did you have a full style guide? Uh, for, for her or your what? Book. No, your book. Like, I have, all, I have all the characters, everything. I mean, all the care. Yeah, we have, this will be like probably in the art book. I think we're going to include these like, uh, you know, we have these character layouts That's so you can nice. see the characters and whatever else. I don't know if this is the most recent version. You can see what colors they use and everything. Look, look like, it's cool. He's got no package. He's got no dick. He's got no dick. Well, there's a reason for that, and we'll talk about that eventually. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, he's got a flat ass. What the hell? He does have a very flat ass. <laughs> he's got that rogue ass. <laughs> hey, you're handling this but, criticism well, Vito. <laughs> oh, because the criticism makes no fucking sense. It doesn't make any sense. Vito didn't even give his artist any uh, images to work from. He designed the characters. He knows what the characters look like. Oh my I don't gosh, have to describe anything to one. him. Oh, I don't way, have to awful. describe things to him because he drew them. He knows what they look like. I just have to give him a little bit of help when I yeah. go, I want her wearing this. I want it to look like this. That's it. This is how anybody makes anything, you moron. All right. Let, here's, here's what he says. Um, what he's actually describing in this comic book? Uh, page two. Panel one, inside diner day. Uh, small insect corner panel comic book sits on the diner counter. The page is open to reveal the entirety of the previous page was actually a page from an inner-world Meteor Man comic book. A, fem- a female hand holds the page open. Back off-screen, wow. Hero comic. And this comic is... It's like that. That's how bad we are, right off the bat. Okay. What about um, the, the outfit? Panel two, then we have the picture of a random woman who is completely... Um, not what he's describing in the paragraph. Completely not what he's <laughs> describing. No, 
I'm describing the fucking outfit that she's wearing. And then he reads it and he glosses over it real quick because he realizes he's an idiot. Right under it. Uh, full page uh, shot. Heroin up, gamer. Up. Bite her full lips and shit on the internet. The people jerking off with. Uh, right. That's that's the kid to read. Um, she wears a stereotypical waitress's outfit. See the reference above. I see the reference above for the outfit, not for what she looks like. No. Yeah, How Rita was handling this criticism Dumb. well. Not, no, I don't know. <laughs> no, I am handling it, dude. This is infuriatingly yes. stupid. <laughs> where he goes. The reference image doesn't even look like the character. And then he reads the script. Fair, and says, to be fair, please Vito, make her he, outfit look like this. If he's completely off base, you should just kind of ignore it. But he's an idiot, obviously. That should well, be that's the what end I'm of it. saying. You're be I'm so saying. mad, but you're getting really, really frustrated. You read. Vito, I, I think I know what it is. He wanted you Tony, to put on that. Tony, sometimes I yell in like a funny way to make the show funny. <laughs> sometimes I bust <laughs> your balls in like a funny way because that's my thing. Peter, you seem really mad right now. You, you, you're I just, stepping I'm just, on my bit. My bit is the step on your bit. All right, I'm stepping on your bit. I am just bewildered at the stupidity of being like, uh, ah. why did he show his artist the outfit he wanted him to draw? Shouldn't he just describe it in great detail? Well, the guy oh, yeah, likes who, marriage. The guy has no idea about the production process. And you are actually, what you just showed me is, is a very detailed professional production process with you and your artist. So uh, this guy, this guy here, and everybody else who criticizes you can go jump in the lake. We gotta have a, uh, we have to have a uh, professional process because we need. Uh, what do we? We have to have stuff we can show our vendors when they're making us uh, cool shit, so I can tell them how they fucked it up. Uh, for instance, uh, this. Dun 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 uh, dun. Where I can tell them, hey, you got the color of her uh, uniform wrong. And they go, what do you mean? And I go, well, you fucking look at the reference material I sent you. Uh, That's really cute. Very it is cute. really cute. How Very soft cute. is it? I don't know yet because I haven't gotten them yet. It looks pretty oh. soft. Does it fit in the uh, I don't know why they can't like, I don't, you would think this product, this house, they would, this one I don't like. All the markings are like weird and fucked up. I was like, you guys got to fix that. Uh, but they're going to fix that. Hold on, where's okay, the uh, uh, Technically, make sure the dog uh, the dog tags have the uh, the percentage of uh, material that it all makes up and all that stuff. You know, one hundred percent polyester or whatever. Oh, is that like? Do I legally have to have that? <laughs> oh yeah, because uh, if there's material in there that will actually make somebody uh, have an allergic reaction, you're screwed. Yeah. Well, luckily we're not making that many, but I could send them a message. I did just send the tags over. Don't uh, be the pink sauce lady. <laughs> it's a small I think if it's a I think if it's like a homemade like small production thing you might get away nope. with it. Don't, nope. you can't. don't roll the dice. You can't get away with it, man. It's it, it's it, right. illegally you have to All put right. in your, 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 you know, your, uh, you your open the can of worms and also uh, the uh, the materials that it's made up of. If one of my plush dolls <laughs> kills someone, I will uh I will let you guys know. Speaking of killing someone, I'm gonna get out of here, Vito, because I gotta kill yeah, I hear you. my stream. All right, man. Well, we'll be wrapping up pretty soon. Here's the Vito plush doll that we're still working on. Later, Tony. All right, let's finish. Let's finish Noel telling me why we're not allowed to use reference material for comics, and then we can wrap it up. Man, thank God for this reference. If it wasn't for this reference, I would never know what a fucking diner waitress wears. That's I want her to wear something specific, Noel. I don't want the artist to guess at it. I have a very specific outfit in mind, and I sent him an image of it. Okay, you're you actually sound stupid now. I don't want the artist to guess at what I want. I want to take as much guesswork out of the process as possible. So I have very detailed descriptions, reference material, and storyboards to get exactly what I want. You, who will never make anything with ever, any amount of care or uh, professionalism, yeah, maybe you can just shit it over and go, I don't know, it's a fucking diner, I don't care what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, uh, his, his way not... seems so time proficient. Yeah, his way is this is yeah, you're right. This is actually making it easier for the artist where they go, Oh, okay, I can just draw this. I don't have to like yeah. come up a with picture what kind of diner is outfit worth she's wearing. a thousand words. That's a phrase for a reason. As an artist, this is incredibly helpful. I'm a visual learner. That's... I want to be able to know what exactly you're looking for. If you mm -hmm. just if you do a typey de typey, try using words, you might not be able to describe exactly what you want. So this makes sense. That was fucking perfect. Pictures worth a thousand words. Bam. 
done. Full stop. So I have in the comments of yeah. four people going, yeah, Vito really fucked up. I can't believe. And they're serious. <laughs> like, I can't believe he uh, sent a picture of a waitressing outfit. What a new reference. If it wasn't for this reference, I would never know what a fucking diner waitress wears. That sh that my what world you... of understanding does not include <coughs> concepts such as diners. Not necessarily. Thanks, you Do you know how many different types of diner outfit there are? Just search Ex exactly. diner waitress right exactly. now. You're you going to find... Sorry, go ahead. Well, here, I'll look. Share this tab. Look at how many different types of fucking diner outfits there can be. Yeah. I don't want her in a t-shirt. I don't want her in a gay vest. Mm -hmm. I don't want stripes. Okay? I know exactly what I want. Okay? I don't want a little bow. I don't want a bunch of frilly shit. I found the exact fucking waitress outfit I wanted him to draw. Something like this. Simple. Yeah, because otherwise you're doing a lot him. of revisions and ah, oh, just take this out uh, more like this and you're wasting time and the artist can get mad it can cause issues i would, I would definitely imagine because it yeah, yeah. if said, i said draw a diner waitress and he made this denny's looking <laughs> shit okay this looks like a fr i would have been like oh shit well not that this looks like well, this dog shit and then is getting me the hungry, guy has either. to redraw it and you're like yeah, he's like well tell me what time. you want and then you send the picture and then it, the problem solved, but you sent the fucking picture first, and he still has a fucking issue. Like, oh, this guy can't describe it. Shut the fuck up, dude. Come on. The artist might not know the words that you like that you are using to describe the person. Like, the it could just be out of that artist's lexicon. Doesn't know what that word means. Doesn't Good know point. what you're trying to understand. Uh, not. It's hard to understand what you're trying to describe. You know, if you don't know My... the word artist is from mexico if i tell him to draw a diner waitress i'm gonna get this mexican looking shit i don't want this i have to point him to what i want or else i'm gonna get some fucking day of the dead looking mexican shit embrace it Vito. that would have that added no she's spice not to the mexican comic. for the love of Christ. She could work at a Mexican I don't want restaurant. her to have a sombrero. I don't want her to be <laughs> serving a big plate of tacos. I don't want her to look like an old Spanish grandmother, okay, with a fucking apron that looks like dog shit. I knew exactly what I wanted and I sent it to my artist. And the fact that that's the, we're at the point where these guys are out of things to yell at me about and they yeah, have to make shit up. Yeah, and what they have to make up is he sent his artist a picture of a diner waitress. Oh my god, he can't even describe what a diner waitress looks like. Um then there's this description. This is this is right here. This is on page All right, I'm skipping this. Okay. Tell me more about my reference material. Specifically making fun of Eric July. This is just Wait, what's specifically making fun of Eric July? This entire page should be done up as a page from the Golden Age comic book, Screen Tones, Old Fashioned Artwork. So this, this isn't even specifically making fun of Eric July. This is just supposed to be like, remember old comics? Weren't they bad? <laughs> <sighs> yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm making fun of old <laughs> comics. Okay. <laughs> Panel one, inside secret base. By the ba, 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 ba. That Tell me about my reference material. Mind. You might update this and fix everything. Uh, but the what you're at retard. Uh, I thought it was life. Life. Back uh, there's a point where like uh, she's trying to get powers by getting bitten by radioactive animals, and I wanted to illustrate that there's like you know there's a power plant in the background, so I wanted to illustrate it's like a nuclear power plant near her house, and I sent him a reference to the fish from The Simpsons. I'm like, have that three eyed fish jumping out of the lake, you know? Because that'd be like a funny little panel gag. And goes, to be oh. fair, that, that that's like one of the most recognizable things from like the Simpsons. Like I'm not even a big Simpsons fan, and, and I Simpsons. know that fish. Yeah, and then you go, hey, you know, just saw that little three-eyed fish. It's like a funny little in joke. You know how comics reference other comics. You'll look in the background, you'll see a character who looks like Cartman or looks like you know Homer, and you, oh, okay, it's a little panel. Nice tag. little homage to that. Yeah. Yeah, and he's saying, "Oh, see, he, his book's just Simpson references." I'm like, "There is one joke in the background of one panel that I was like, hey, just draw this little thing in because I think it'll be funny." Uh, so anyway, guys, get my uh, super pedophile comic book, Super Killer. <laughs> uh, it's just look at this eight year old girl with her big tits. Uh, apparently, I'm the worst. I'm the worst person in the world for making this comic, and I'm ruining America, and I'm a degenerate. And uh, how dare I 
send my artist a picture of a diner waitress. I'm just trash. I should I should die. Man, tell me I'm trash. Uh, you're trash, Vito. I did it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> Guys, this has been bad, the Tuesday Night Grift. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I have one more yeah, yeah. comic Go book. Uh, uh, I put yes. I put in the chat a superhero, a bad superhero design that I think. All right, all right, all right. Enjoy. I think I have it here. Yeah. Is it, grid is it the gridiron? Uh, this guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Obi Mugel says, I've made many blocks during my NFL clear with the Atlanta Falcons, but none more important than the block I'm throwing today. Get your reusable gridiron green water bottle for just $20. Oh, yeah. That's Beautiful the best. Beautiful superhero. That's the best. Uh, Look Mint whose name is you... not on it. Whose name is not on it? Uh, Matt Barr. Matt Barr's Did Matt name Barr is draw not on this? it. Did yes. Matt Barr draw this character? For yes. the uh, this is United Nations propaganda that he drew for the United Nations. Matt oh. Barr is another idiot that we got to touch on next time. The all these Nations, guys, you say, all these guys are fucking crazy. Look, guys, let's just all make comic books. It's fun to make comic books. Let's stop worrying about who hired who to draw a sexy cover when all you guys have sexy cover the fucking millers have a what they have that book boobs magazine right isn't that what it's called wheelers the wheelers what did i yeah. call them i think you said the millers the millers okay the wheel no, no, oh, well. the wheelers yeah okay guys everyone's saying oh Vito makes degenerate comic books and don't they all hang out with these wheelers or they're going on streams with them what is what is the difference I don't get it. I have no problem with this. Yeah, it's cool. It's a lady with big boobs. It's great. We need more of that. Yeah. Oh, just my God. Oh, my God. I don't even think I could show this on the stream. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's it's got, they got pasties on there. There's pasties on there. Yeah. Yeah. So what, why is everybody? I think, you know what? Honestly, it's a little bit of racism, I think. I think people go, oh, well, it's from Japan, so that means they must be underage. Uh Guys, don't all forget right, also to get the comic book uh, Hunting Alice. I'm going to head out, Vito. Gift. All right, good Adios. scene, Mitch Salad. How do we find you? Frog Tony's we... show. We're going um, over to Tony the TGD. Is he going yes. live right now? Yes, he He's is going live. live right now. Uh, all you, right. I do daily movie reviews every day, 7 p.m. ET, youtube.com slash AC presents, for Canon's sake, dot live every uh, Monday through Friday, 4 p.m. ET. All right. And comic book reviews there too. That's what it uh, what's, is. What, so wait, what's the YouTube? Is it four cannons? It's still ASC presents or no? It uh, well, there is youtube.com slash the clipiverse. We have a redirect. We bought four cannons sake dot live that redirects to the YouTube channel for the clipiverse. All right, there's the clipiverse talking about our good friend Matt Barr, uh, and uh, Clippa's war on Matt Barr continues. With the Valiant Mint Salad. Thank you, Mint Salad. Uh, let's see who else has a plug. Let's see. George, where do we find your comic? Um, I have a plug. I put the uh, the link in the private chat at Denali's.com. Right. It's the Immortal Mask. Okay, guys, go to Dingles.com. That's no, a joke. Denali's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Denali's. There you go. Denali's. D-I-N-A-L-E-S. Yes. Dot com. com. See it on there. Very yeah, easy. You can you can see the uh, uh, ten, ten sample pages. Cl uh, click on uh, available soon. It'll take you to the Kickstarter sign up page. Uh, so, uh, this is going to be an amazing book, hardcover, paperback, and pocketbook. Uh, Two hundred pages. It's going. George, be I did get your package. I want you to know your magnets are on my fridge. Awesome. And, uh, I look forward to reading it uh, as soon as I have a free moment. I have it right near the bathroom, so I'll be able to read it while I'm taking a dumper. Uh, guys, theimmortalmask.com as well is another way to find this. Yep. Denalis.com. Yep. Thank you, George. We'll Thank see you, you soon. Layton, your YouTube channel is... Outlawed Thoughts. Outlawed Thoughts, that's right. Uh, and if people go to outlawedthoughts.com, it'll take them right to that channel. Go to outlawedthoughts.com. You can subscribe to Outlawed Thoughts. And learn about all the nonsense that's going on. Chrissy Mayer, Tom McDonald, Eric July, all the good stuff. Make sure to subscribe. Let's get this guy to a thousand subscribers. We know he deserves it.
Thank you, Layton. Top Loaded Gaming is here. Our good friend Top Loaded Gaming. Yeah, I yes. need a I need a butt plug. You but, need a uh, butt plug. Well, maybe Horseman can get you on one of his big. I, I am officially. I am officially working on new content and a possible rebrand of the channel. So stay tuned Fantastic. for that. Fantastic. Well, well, you'll Thanks keep us in touch. Me. You are our X Men expert. So next time we talk about X Men. Uh, be sure to be here. And of course, Richard is here. Richard, what, what are we Vito? promoting? Where's uh, your comic? Fun my comic, uh, Blood and the Sword. Uh, the Blood. Can I still get it on Fun My yeah, Comic? A, yeah, 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 sure. It's uh, Guys, it's here's what you're going to learn link. about Blood and the Sword is uh, Vito helped a little bit. A oh, little, yeah, uh, yeah. Thank you. I that that whole uh, super chat and using that as a as a commercial was, was very excellent. That's very smart, <laughs> and you should do that all the time on every yeah. stream. Blood and the Sword is very good, very funny. Thank you, thank uh, you. It's a, just a great, like, D&D adventure. Yeah, the art's like, solid, the writing's solid. Yeah. It's just fun. Fun uh, stuff. Fun and, and it's only five too. bucks. Five dollars, yeah. which I think you're crazy, but hey, if it works, it works. I need to get known, Vito. I, I need... I need uh, take, yeah, I if think. you take it to the Comic-Cons and you sell it for five bucks, yeah. you make some uh, things, but you got a good thing here. I hope you get like at least three solid issues out of this little arc oh, yeah. or something. Yeah, this is my baby, man. I'm gonna As long as I have money, this is coming out. And so Fantastic. I or, or it's either it's either I run out of ideas and let it go or, or finish it properly, or, or as long as I have money, it comes out, so... Yeah, go man. back it. Uh, Keep working you know, on it, man. Thank you, five thank bucks, you. get a com five bucks for a comic, guys. How can you pass up on Blood and the Sword? Yeah. Uh, all right, well, guys, this is uh, my turn. I get to plug something because it's my show, and I want everyone to buy my new comic, Hunting Alice, Book One. That's not correct. Hold on, Superkiller.org. That's the page. Uh, if you haven't noticed, the page is completely broken <laughs> because I don't know how to make websites, and I need to hire a guy to fix it. But uh, in the meantime, you can click when you go to superkiller.org, you can click at the top, take us over the campaign. 15, we hit 1,500 backers. It happened. That is real, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, this week, we are starting coloring. Uh, we were having to revise some pages. Well, we're starting the final colors. We did some test pages, but now we're getting deep in the weeds on the color, uh, which hopefully we can get wrapped up pretty quick uh i don't know man things are coming along look you know rome wasn't built in a day but everything's looking great and that's what matters uh, if you haven't picked up a copy yet again remember this book uh don't get this cover because apparently you go to jail if you buy cover c apparently cover c is only for predators and psychopaths fucking ass i got maida i did me who's the man i am I had to email an old Japanese guy and convince him to come out of retirement to draw a lady getting assaulted by tentacles. And I should be fucking recognized for the amount of effort that went into that. Okay. And that old Japanese man was mean. He was a mean old man. And that's fine. No, he wasn't mean. He's a nice guy. Just fucking around. Mean old man hit me with a cane. Uh, Pete Tonk says, is Bex the self insert? That made a poster has a whole new context now. Yeah, you're basically getting a poster of me getting tentacled. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. And uh, Logan Effing says, did you ever look at my comic Vito? Uh, was that, which one was it? No, send it to me again. I've been so busy. Like right now I am in make super killer happen mode and I have not been watching movies. I have not been watching TV shows. If you notice my YouTube channel has not been updated. I'm working my balls off, uh, but please remind me uh, gently and I will try to make time to watch it. Uh, this has been... The Tuesday Night Grift. We will be back next Tuesday with our special guest, uh, Ving Rames, and uh, and who else will be here? And Luke Skywalker is going to be here. And I'm trying to find a thing because now I'm just now I'm just wasting time. Where the fuck is the video? Uh, this has been a great show. Thanks to everybody who came by, and we will be back next Tuesday. Take care of yourself. Come on, baby, let's do the grift. Oh, come on, baby, let's do the grift. Take me by my little hand and grift like this. Grift, baby, grift, baby, grift, baby, grift.
Baby, time.